And let's say how it started, what it means, a general methodology, because with that way, I think we will be able to better understand the meaning of, of the agile methodology. In the late 90s, during the internet boom, how it started, so boom and significant increase in demand for software products, goods from various parts of the world, gathered in Utah to exchange their experiences. Yes, their experiences and thoughts how to make their life easier. They documented their key principles in what's known as an Agile Manifesto, which you can still access to the website agilemanifesto.org. I'll show you. It is, you can see that historical web page. It was crafted 2001. I remember, and can imagine it still works. Works and becomes more and more successful. This document outlines the fundamental values and principles of Agile, which guides how teams collaborate to develop software and other projects. Now, I don't want to bother you with more specific information. Just know that the Agile Manifesto consists, there are four core principles, which follows both guiding standards. And as I said, you can find here on many languages even. Those four main principles are individuals and interactions over processes and tools, working software over comprehensive documentation, customer collaboration over contract negotiation, responding to change over following a plan. And then follows the very interesting sentence that while there is value in the items on the right, we value the items on the left more, which means that, for example, when we are saying that individuals and interactions over processes and tools means that we prefer individuals and interactions, but we also value processes and tools, but we prefer more individual interactions rather than comprehensive documentation, contract negotiation, and so on. Now let's make a closer look at what it means to work agile and how it relates to the production process in newsroom. Before Agile came along, software developers primarily worked with traditional approaches. To better understand the pros and cons of both approaches, let's quickly review the traditional concept. There are several traditional models which still exist in software development field, such as the V model, spiral model, and the most widely used among them is waterfall model. It's relatively simple and straightforward model, but it has its big limitations as well. In software development, the waterfall model is like following a step-by-step -step path. Imagine a waterfall where each phase of the project flows in a sequence, one after the other. Or the customer tells the developer what they want, then developer plans out the entire development process and then work through it sequentially before releasing it to users. It's requirement gathering and analysis, system design, implementation, testing, development, maintenance. And finally, the customer can only see the final product when it's all done, which may take about 10 months or a year. If the client wants any change, they have to say, at the beginning, because changing things later can be really expensive. Now, doing everything step by step sounds organized, but it also has its challenges. It can take a lot of time and effort to finish everything in order. You can see the screen now. 
because I'm working everything and on everything and simultaneously running the entire project is challenging and time consuming. That's why developers came up with agile approach. In this concept, large projects are broken down into smaller increments and cross-functional teams address each increment through iterative cycles called sprint sessions. which consists each of the print sessions, plan new features, design and develop software, ship, means send to the client, collect feedback, and then bank back, still back to the fix or plan those features. Is this tight feedback loop between customers and the developer that allows agile teams increase their development speed, collaborate better and react quickly to customer needs and market changes. In a sense, agile emphasizes flexibility, collaboration and iterative development to deliver product quickly and effectively. As you can see with that way, each increment is divided by the sprint sessions and each increment is addressed separately. And there are several effective components useful to the news room as well. It is iterative approach. Agile is iterative nature aligns well with the dynamic nature of news production, allowing the rapid adaptation to breaking news and shifting priorities. This is cross-functional teams, but we talked about it during our previous exercise. Agile encourages collaboration across departments and disciplines, fostering a more integrated approach to storytelling and content creation and continuous improvement. By embracing feedback and regularly reassessing priorities, newsrooms can refine their processes and deliver more impactful journalism to their audience. Now let's see how it works, the giant method. As we said earlier, Agile is more of a set of philosophies and principles rather than a prescriptive set of rules. There are several models under the umbrella of Agile concept, and we can use single of them or make a blend from what is, what is more suitable for us. Let's drill down most popular models and adjust them to the newsroom workflow. Imagine your newsroom as a rugby team. In Scrum, which is term of rugby play, you have short focused sprints. We are the team collaborates to achieve specific goals. The, this framework encourages regular communication, quick decision-making and iterative approach. And let's see now how it works. in difference with the waterfall method. Client explains his desires and wishes to product owner. Software development, which creates product backlog. Product, product backlog himself is, in the product backlog himself is reflected all the futures and desires of the a requested product. 
Then comes sprint planning meetings and over the sprint, sprint planning meeting, the product backlog is break down by smaller sprint backlogs. On which team is working with the sprint sessions and each increment can take working on each increment can take, I don't know, one or four weeks. It depends on the size of the project or the future. And then comes 24 hour daily scrums. Those are daily stand-ups, let's say so, on which sprint team is reviewing their successes, challenges, what they have done, what is needed to do and so on. And team of course here is collaborative, is complete, completed with the different professions. Here can be programmer, coder, designer, And that workflow, and they are very free in their desires and works. And they are holding their master and the, the position is called like a scrum master because scrum master here looks on processes. And as a result, we have a product increment. Then it follows with a sprint review and sprint rest retrospective. We will speak about it later. So each sprint design consists from planning session, design, develop, test, deploy working increment, and sending it for review. Like this. Now let's see how it will work in case of newsroom production. And oh, position to position, how we can adjust those positions to our needs, newsroom production needs. While adjusting to newsroom, I think we can transform the client into audience. and assignment editor to the, sorry, we have some kind of small technical problem. Looks like here, one minute, please. Okay, go on. While adjusting to newsroom, I think we can transform the client into audience and the product owner into assignment editor who gathers filters and designs stories to reporters and photographers. We did not say anything about those three components, which are crucially important. The product backlog, sprint planning meeting, and sprint backlog. Let's explain how it works. The product backlog. In close communication with the client and consultation with the team, product owner is crafting the product backlog. The structured approach to organize tasks and futures for a product development team. It starts with a broader vision and breaks down into smaller individual or team commitments. The items on product backlog are ordered based on their importance and value to the product. For better understanding, here is an example. On projecting and crafting coffee machine, as you can see by a JL approach, comprehensive documentation is replaced by easy understanding language. Just like customer problem, what desire has a customer. Developing a coffee machine that offers a user-friendly experience and produces high quality coffee. It's quite simple. Then comes user story, which is very important, so-called artifact in agile framework. So user story means just saying what want to do, what's happening. As a coffee enthusiast, I want to coffee machine that 
can brew various types of coffee with customizable settings for a personalized coffee experience. And then comes futures, like design and develop a sleek and modern coffee machine, implement different brewing options like espresso, cappuccino, and blade, include adjustable settings for coffee, strength and temperature, and so on. And those futures are placed by order in the backlog. As I said previously, the sprint planning meeting serves to break down the product backlog with a small increments. And as a result, the team has a sprint backlog. The sprint backlog is subset of the product backlog item selected for the current sprint. It contains the tasks and the activities that the development team commits to complete during the sprint. The sprint backlog is created during the sprint planning meeting and is owned by the development team. The development team is working on execution of each increment by sprint session. And such uh, sprint sessions can be several, as I said. For example, in case of newsroom, there can be three multimedia products as a result of three sprint sessions. Considering time-oriented workflow of newsroom, and also we will need like a uh, make smaller the time for those sprint sessions. And therefore, we can make the sprint like instead of for eight weeks, make it one day sprint. As far as newsroom, we need products in the same day, of course. But also daily scrum standups, we can make a one hour or two hours. And then we have Scrum Master, the facilitator and servant leader for the Scrum team who ensure that the team follows Scrum practices, remove obstacles, and foster productive collaborative environment and keep the production line. Which positions do you think this fits this role best? I think it can be production manager who will oversee the production processes and ensures timely delivery of news content. And as we already said, as a result of sprint sessions, we have an increment. The increment is the sum of all completed product backlog items during a sprint. Along with the increment of all previous sprints, it represents the tangible, usable product that is potentially shippable at the end of the each sprints, which means that each increment in case of newsroom, it can be, I don't know, some short video or infographic or anything to be ended product. And also we have a sprint review and sprint retrospective, which are also very important parts in the Scrum framework, but we will come back to those later. Just briefly, the increment is inspected as a sprint review upon finishing it to determine if it meets the definition of done and whether it can be realized or not. And the sprint retrospective is used to review the advantage and disadvantage of sprint development process. Saying otherwise, when the production team is finishing, for example, infographic or short video and it can be already finished for publishing during the sprint review it's a like stand-up meeting maybe 15 minutes team together with assignment editor and production manager is reviewing the product upon publishing All right, hopefully you can see the logic behind our stream concept plan. 
it can be a bit uh, difficult for beginning, but trust me, during our next sessions, it will be much more easy, understandable. And we'll be tailored to the newsroom settings, even in just in general level. Just keep in mind whether your newsroom and workflow involve a hundred people or just five, whether you are dealing with a production workload of 50 multimedia pieces daily or producing one video story per week, the reasoning and benefits of Scrum working remain consistent. As we said, the product backlog is divided by sprint backlog. Let's say the manuals, based on what will be conducted iterative sprint sessions. In our case, those are most important phases of news and workflow, like planning, production, and publishing. How the product backlog should be crafted in case of news and production? Here we will mix another agile framework. It's a Kanban that you can see now on the screen. It's quite easy one, flexible one. You can write here things like to do, doing, done, and changing, moving the boards upon the progress of the workflow. It can be done physically with board and stickers. And there are also dozens of online platforms for remote working. Like it is Boulder, Trello, Asana, Jira, we will review all of them. And now let's go back to our mirror workspace, like whiteboard workspace. I see here people are still working. Okay, now let's deal into the heart of the agile methodology, the backlog. The backlog is our newsroom's treasure thought of story ideas, tasks, and priorities waiting to be explored. Through our exercises, we learn how to populate the backlog with diverse story ideas, ranging from breaking news updates to in-depth features, making prioritize like tasks based on urgency, impact, audience need, refine and adapt the backlog over time to keep peace with evolving newsroom dynamics. Let's explore how the backlog approach enables continuous coverage and diversity of storytelling formats. Now, I don't know, we can have a question and answer session regarding the Scrum. We can continue, we can have a five minute break, how you prefer. I'm sorry, I've had my hand raised for a little over five minutes and nobody called me to ask a question. Are we allowed to ask questions? Yes, sure, yes. Sorry for that because I'm sharing the screen, cannot see. Looks like. Could we, would you mind going back to your Scrum slide to where you had the user story? Sure. Which one? Can you see now the screen? Yes, I can. So when you were talking about user stories before breaking down how Scrum works in newsrooms.
I yes, think. this you just skipped it. Yes, this yes, yes. The user story yeah. on product backlog. Yes. Yes. Yeah, could you click on the user story? I want to ask a question specifically about that. Absolutely. So I guess the question I wanted to ask is, in a newsroom situation, with this looking at the product backlog now, how does it translate to a newsroom situation, this user story? What, what would a user story be for a particular news report or, or investigative project or something of that nature? Or do we come up with it as we imagine it to be? It's a very good question. Thank you. And I think... Uh, most important thing and the question how we can use like user story is a question which editor and journalist always could ask him or herself for what purposes what i want to say with that report Exactly, this is in our case. You can read as a coffee enthusiast, I want to coffee machines that can brew various types of coffee and so and so. So in case of newsroom, you just to raise up a question. What I want to say with my report, what I want to say, like finally, like with my final product of investigation, or even I don't know, small piece of infographic, what what audience will learn from it. This is the user story in case of newsroom production. And then comes futures. In case of, I don't know, coffee machine, here are, you see like ability of brewing different kind of coffee, like espresso, cappuccino, and latte. But in case of uh, newsroom production, for example, in case of infographic, infographics, it can be different kind of futures or different kind of information. For example, should have ability of engagement and interaction from site of user. Should include some specific information, uh, some, I don't know, focus area. In case of investigative journalism, should make a like tight focus because very often, uh, we have uh, such a uh, problems, journalists, but editor as well, editors as well. Like when we want to cover everything, and finally, in the final product is uh, nothing, because when we're trying to say everything, we are not able to say nothing. Any thank question? you. No, thank you very much for answering mine. I appreciate it. But if we could take a five minute break, I'm, I I vote for a five minute break if possible. Thank you. Sure. If 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 anyone agree on it. Okay. Let's take a five minute break. I'll just mute my. Okay, can you continue? Great. Let's dive deeper now on the new some production and, and and explanation of of the meaning of the backlog which i believe can be a core component in case of newsroom because because why we are speaking about product backlog in case of uh newsroom as well this is very important and also sprint backlog uh we are speaking and considering uh 
uh, about payment platforms, about formats, about genre, about resources, and of course about the team and different positions. Uh, but I see as joined now my colleague Nata, Nata Mumladze, who is editor in chief of Palitra Media, integrated converged newsroom, what I worked on what I have worked for years ago. And I think let's give her a stage if she tells us about the working of of, of newsroom with the different platforms because Pantra Media has a convergent newsroom which comes with which includes some uh some components of agile framework I believe uh, because usually journalists even have not imagination how they used many of agile uh, frameworks and methods uh, and there are several different platforms in Pantra Media as well as radio, online, news agency, uh, and works as a principal of super desks. So Natalia, please welcome. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> so as uh, Dachi mentioned, I'm working in Palitra Media for a long time. It's more than 10 years, 12 years already. Uh, and when I came here, uh, that was the time when Dashi, it was like a year he had left the company. Um, I met the uh, really uh, innovative model of newsroom. So it was an integrated newsroom I have never seen before in my life, in spite of the fact that I am a journalist from 1997. So it was really surprising. Uh, so um, it was uh, really, really interesting. And after this, uh, I have uh, visited a lot of different newsrooms uh, in the world. Uh, and uh, uh, even uh, that time, even in the US, we had the better models than some other media organizations. So really proud of it. And um, I had a very good start that time. Thank you, Dachi, for this. And uh, it was really life-changing for the whole media house. I would like to uh, share the presentation I uh, prepared like six slides, not very long. I want newsroom. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? That's it? Yes, yes. Yeah, great. Uh, so uh, I will speak about um, uh, so the main, main topics will be our organizational structure, uh, benefits of integrated newsroom, difficulties of integrated newsroom, possibilities of development and grow, and the med media as a successful business. Maybe this is not the topic of today's meeting, I mean uh, media as a business, but I think uh, the key of success is uh, this rose too. So let's start. Uh, so this is our uh, structure. I think this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so um, we have a uh, newspaper and print. So the whole media house started with this. And I'm absolutely sure that a lot of your media organizations started with it. Uh, so, uh, in uh, after uh, 15 years of uh, having newspaper, and it was 2005, uh, they uh, owned the news agency, and uh, who are here from Georgia, I'm absolutely sure that you know that this is Interpress News, it's the only news agency <laughs> on the market, uh, How it's, it's, it's really pity that it's only, but it is, and they're really very successful. For now, we have 15 websites. TV station and radio station. 
So all these media are integrated in the newsroom. Um, it could be very uh, unimaginable that so many people and so many teams can work together, uh, but I can tell you that it's absolutely real. Uh, so now uh, we have uh, uh, the responsible persons, uh, mainly editors uh, from uh, different uh, media platforms. Uh, from newspaper, from news agency, all websites and all, and uh, uh, we work together in the newsroom. So what does that mean? Uh, that means that we have at least one uh, meeting during the day where we are discussing the topics and uh, uh, it's really, really very important. This is the uh, main thing for us. So uh, the place where we can change all, all ideas and have a very effective planning. So uh, in this newsroom, we have this integrated um, uh, with this editorial board. And uh, in this editorial uh, board, ed editorial board is working the, with other uh, persons in the team. Wait, I can take just a minute. I will put this up. Yeah. Uh, so um, we work. So we have multimedia journalists who work for most of these uh, uh, platforms. Uh, social media team, which is also the one whole team for all uh, medias. Reporters, photographers, video editors, graphics, uh, data analysts, and many lot of other teams which I don't mention in this graph. Uh, so the same time in the media house we have had this uh, advertisement marketing IT web level department, which works in our media house, which is not only media in this case. Um, I can tell you that uh, it didn't create it in one day. So it was a decision. Like, I was not uh, that was when, uh, um, it was uh, mostly um, diversification and the changing from newspaper to digital and this transformation was very easy for us because we started web very early uh, and after this we started to add uh, more websites uh, uh, informational websites niche websites and uh, uh, we created like the uh, space uh, where we covered all all uh, kind of topics. So it's not only news, it's a lot of other niche websites which are also very, very successful now. Uh, so I would like to speak about uh, the benefits uh, of the, uh, the benefits of integrated newsroom. Uh, so as I mentioned, it's a one big team. So we are working together and we are working for the one goal. So the, the, have the main goal for us to be successful. Uh, so synergy and teamwork between different media outlets. And uh, uh, this is crucial because uh, you know, people are helping each other and uh, this help with ideas is uh, uh, very important exchange of ideas and regular discussion, as I, as I mentioned. I also would like to mention uh, two formats we are working in. So one is the morning meetings where we are sitting at the round table uh, in the newsroom and are discussing what we're planning during the day. Uh, so that could be everything like short news or feature stories or special projects. So all editors from different uh, medias uh, media outlets are presenting their ideas, what they are going to work on during the day or maybe longer. Uh, and uh, now we're finding the common uh, topics that we can work on different platforms at the same time. So if we decide that uh, this platform is going to work on, on it, now, uh, Mostly we decide that uh, they will work on it on with different angles. So we can put the story on different websites also. 
on only on this website. Now, on the other side, we can uh, decide to have the collaboration between different uh, uh, platforms. And for example, one platform will work on a special project and the other will have be, will video producing at the same time. So this collaboration is really, really very important. Perfect planning, as I mentioned, avoiding working on the same topics, find different angles. Uh, effective collaboration projects, economy on, of resources, and uh, I think this is the key. So one multimedia journalist, photographer, can work for several editions and produce different products on, this, on, on one topic. So if you can imagine, we don't uh, lose our resources for uh, Doubling or uh, doubling the work. So, uh, if one a person is working on it and it's going to the stage to work on, I mean, if it's uh, um, something going in the city, uh, he brings the whole material for all um, uh, platforms. So uh, he'll give short news for for the news agency. Uh, he'll give the uh, text story for uh, the um, analytical platform, video and photo and all kind of work together. So that we save resources with this. Uh, and the one very, very important thing that is cross promotion opportunities. So we help each other to promote our content. Uh, on all our websites and even on TV station and radio station, we also mention uh, the platform who prepared this uh, uh, material or topic and uh, also have uh, like RSS feeds for you know, the web where you can find not only con the content of this particular website, but also the content of other all other websites, which is um, you know, very useful in getting new audiences and reaching people. Uh, so um, it's not all that perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's very beneficial, but I wanted to mention uh, the problems we have, of course. It's not all that great. Uh, so the main uh, question uh, we always have, and uh, especially with new editors and uh, new uh, people, so collaboration and competition. Uh, so as we understand, people want to be uh, the first, so not fighting for primacy, that's the real thing. So uh, they, uh, the, this is the uh, sentences I very often hear from this newsroom and that you will agree with me. It's very, very often. I don't want my journalists to work for others. I want, my, I want this material to be done only for me. It's my exclusive. Oh, they have stolen my topic or idea. Uh, they didn't mention our source, but this is the uh, real thing. So we're very careful that all sources should be mentioned, of course. When people are working on topic, they should be mentioned. Uh, the social media team pays more attention to others. This is also an issue. Everybody wants uh, their content to be uh, more shared, more uh, visible. And uh, uh, we... Uh, um, so we're, uh, prior we prioritize some of them because uh, in a time uh, frame, sometimes one uh, media is maybe more uh, important than others. So yeah, that's also an issue, but uh, it's not the kind of problems we should concentrate on and be uh, afraid. So uh, they are all resolvable and uh, uh, we deal with it. So yes, they, they are, but it could be done. And the next slide, uh, possibilities of development and grow. So we have uh, understanding that the power is, the, is in the integration. Um, sometimes you want to be only in your group, don't communicate with others, but we always know if we don't brainstorm, if we don't change the ideas, if we don't share the ideas, uh, it wouldn't be as successful as it could be. Um, also, the key of success is unstoppable learning and experimenting. Um, for these 12 years, uh, I, I can't even count how many things we tried. And uh, uh, maybe most of them weren't very successful, but that was the gaining of experience. and. Uh, 
Now that's uh, that's a learning process. So if we didn't uh, do that that time, uh, today we, we will be we would be the absolutely other person, our, our, our other media. So that's very important. And um, uh, also the understanding when working in media is a mission, but it should be uh, financially sustainable. And um, now I think that uh, commercializing of media uh, is uh, very important for independence, uh, for uh, having the power to decide yourself to work uh, to what work on, and not be not depend on uh, any political or other influencers. Uh, so we're really uh, happy with that, that we were able to make media uh, commercial and to have enough advertisement from commercial companies uh, to work independently. So that was my presentation and I would like to listen questions for you. I have a lot of things to tell you. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, you can ask me questions and maybe we can, uh, then, then I can just advise you maybe something. Thank you. Thank you very much, Meta. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a question regarding the, you mentioned that you have daily meetings. Yes. Now, let's say so, be working like with the integrated newsroom means be agile. And the main issues what you mentioned, many activities, let's say so, for running newsroom are related with the agile approach as well. Uh, you mentioned daily meetings, like which most probably plans like daily workflow, daily agenda. Uh, who is participating in that meeting, like production team on which level it is, or editors of, 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 of different platforms? This is one question. Another question is what about the one hour early meetings, like stand up meetings? About the about the success, about the progress of the assignment, like every single product, let's say so. Yes. <clears throat> so uh, for morning meetings, um, the editors of, of all media outlets are participating in it. Uh, so it's always the same time every morning. And uh, everybody are responsible to bring their ideas to the table. Uh, so when we are starting to discuss it, of course, we are working in this agile met methodic. So we share this uh, um, task to the, uh, the, we divide this task to the uh, small tasks and uh, are having a plan how to work on it, of course. And at the same time during this meeting, we have uh, the feedback from the uh, uh, materials and topics we have done uh, last day. So it's uh, during the one meeting. We are discussing how uh, good it was, uh, how, uh, how many people it reached. Uh, so we have the tradition to share the statistic. I think it's, uh, it's a common for a lot of newsrooms. So we're sharing the statistics. Uh, how many readers they have uh, on this uh, particular topics uh, topic. We also uh, are looking for uh, the whole statistics, uh, what, which topics were more readable during the day um, or week. Uh, and uh, uh, so we are discussing and uh, evaluating the work we have done the uh, day before. Um, you know, on these daily meetings, we are mostly uh, speaking about um, the uh, pr product we are do doing. So it's not like um, the creative meeting or maybe, um, so we are, we are not discussing like uh, uh, how to work uh, on new products. So it's like the um, meeting for content. Uh, but we have also the other meeting uh, which is once a week, uh, and we have a wider range of uh, attendance there. Attendance there. Uh, 
So uh, they are uh, not only editors, but also people from uh, web development team, uh, people from marketing, advertisement, uh, and development team. So we are sitting together and uh, every week uh, we have one uh, very interesting presenta presentation about the new possibilities in media. So it could be how to use AI in your newsroom. It could be how to improve your CEO, the CCO, your SEO, sorry, um, for your website and what tools you use for it how to be more gender balanced and uh, topics like this. And also we're discussing new ideas, how we can improve our uh, medias, how to make it more interactive, how to uh, uh, have, uh, how to reach bigger audiences. Yeah, we have also the social media uh, pre um, presented you there. And um, uh, how to what what is the point to invest for this time? Um, our, our shareholder also is presenting on this meeting, and it's really really very interesting and uh, uh, very useful discussion. Uh, so I really very advise to have this kind of meetings because this is my favorite. <laughs> my, my, I love it much more than uh, morning meetings because it's yeah it's also very interesting. But uh, this is like you are always starting something new during the week, and even if you prepare something yourself, it's also very beneficial. That's it. Thank you. I see here questions in the chat for you. Oh, yes. I don't see chat. Just a minute. Ah, uh -huh, yes, I see. Uh, how many uh, journalists are able to, will, able to be multimedia, to write, take photos, to produce videos and podcasts? Uh, so for my newsroom, we're trying uh, to have almost all journalists multimedia. So when we have some new in our group, we are trying to uh, train them. Uh, and uh, because nowadays, you know that uh, only writing the text is not journalism at all. So you can, you should can uh, produce, you should produce uh, uh, video content, photo, can create infographics and have the understanding of multimedia. Uh, so except of some uh, reporters who are wor working only on report reporting, uh, they're mostly all multimedia. And uh, for our newsroom, oh, that's a lot. So we have uh, about 100 journalists at all. I think some of them are in-house or some, uh, some outsourcing. Uh, and I think that uh, maybe seven, uh, seventy percent uh, will be, uh, yes, uh, multimedia. Thank you. I remember when I add some little information on what you said, Natalia. I remember when we started working on, on, uh, like when we created converged newsroom mm -hmm. under, under the agile framework. There was the biggest challenge for that time was a, uh, let's say so, resistance from reporters who actually was only writer reporters. Uh, and for that time was a very usual thing like uh, having an editorial team separately, guy who was photographer, um, separate person position for the video editing, and so and so, and for that time we uh, decided having as far as it was impossible. First of all, like having ten professional cameras for ten journalists, and there was not for that time. I'm speaking now for about ten years ago or more. I don't know. Uh, there was not smartphones with such a nice cameras how it is now. So easy. And we, I remember, I find the solution of flip camera, so called. It was a, such a tiny, like a smartphone, just had only one function of shooting videos. Uh, and we distributed it to journalists. There was a very big resistance. They said that I'm so funny, people are joking at me uh, while I'm different events, professional cameraman saying, saying me, well, what are you doing, and so and so. But uh, I think still we did it. Today it works. 
and uh, um, the answer to to author of that question, I would say that. This is also one of the fundamentals of agile approach in newsrooms. Never stop learning, never stop training, and make it easier. Uh, for example, very good solution in that situation is working in pairs. Like when two persons are working together, and I had such practical fully even works right now in Palitra Media, for example. And as I remember, I gave such a suggestions to uh, holding Radio Fortuna as well when they started working like a, to integrated newsroom and when you have experienced journalists like multimedia journalist who knows everything related with the multimedia like shooting, editing, writing and you have beginner uh, new person in the newsroom let them work together pair them and they will start like working on it like having established that like a tradition. This is the first solution. Another solution is I want to show you, I crafted like very easy handbook and which I can share with you. Of course, you can use it. Uh, I'm just, I'll share now screen and show you. Hopefully you can see now the reporter's handbook. It's a, let's say, like a starter's kit for, for beginner journalist. And here is almost everything what you need for, for starting your multimedia journey in, in newsroom. Here are very easy explanation way, like online tools, uh, how to craft one easy infographic, some online platforms for crafting infographic. Even I've had some basic rules because from my experience, a beginning journalist does not know so, so that comprehensive, you know, uh, studies, uh, how to do what perspectives mean in infographic, what colors correction and so on. And so just give them very tiny rules, tiny advices for starting. And then it comes by the experience, let's say so. So you can find here storytelling, editing, it's just several pages. You can see like for uh, sending large files or storing them or working for team how to shoot right photo just in two, I don't know, three sentences about the equipment. So this book actually is based on experience. What I'm saying that just take it easy. It will be the only one uh, advice in that case. Uh, don't try to teach everything to a beginner journalist or even advanced journalist who is just writer and has not multimedia skills. And multimedia skills in case of agile or integrated newsroom is very important. As Natalia as well mentioned, in our age, it's impossible like doing only uh, writing only articles without anything because there is a very big competition on it. So I'll share that handbook for your convenience and you can freely use it because it works for desktop, it's mobile friendly and can be open it in smartphone as well. Thank you, Dachi. It's really, really very, it looks very useful. I also would like to have it. Yes, sure. Uh, uh, I just uh, want to uh, uh, continue your idea. So when I came here, uh, people were here standing with these flip cameras and were refusing to work with them, with them because they uh, told them that this is, this is a shame to have them in, in their hands. But uh, time changed and we did not give up. 
and uh, we insisted to work uh, as a multimedia. So uh, if you are only the text writer, you have no perspective for growth. So yes, that's. Uh, I think that you all also should insist to work uh, to work them uh, as a multimedia. And um, uh, nowadays, especially when people all have their uh, quality, high quality mobile phones, it's uh, super easy to have a quality video and photo content uh, produced by them. And uh, with AI, it's become so easy to create infographics. Uh, it's like uh, maybe 10 times easier than it was uh, 15 years ago uh, when we had only uh, some uh, little small tools for it. Uh, and I think that uh, it's uh, all just uh, the uh, wish to work on it. Uh, they shouldn't refuse work uh, as a multimedia. If any qu questions, I'm also waiting for them. Here is on chat still some quick one, one or several or two questions regarding the, the biggest challenges of working in the large team during an internship is communication. It can be tough to make sure everyone is on the same page and working toward the same goals. And can you share some practice, practical advice in this area? Yes. So um, I don't know how, how it is. So sometimes uh, we uh, notice them. It depends on the activity of the editor mostly and activity of the group. Uh, sometimes uh, they refuse to participate. They're more passive. So you can't imagine that all uh, 15 uh, editors are uh, the same, I uh, have same activities. So some of them are very active. They have uh, good ideas and uh, uh, they are better in working with their teams. So um, in this case, uh, we are working the, with people who are less active. Uh, to uh, help well, them with ideas. So uh, I am uh, uh, involved in this and uh, uh, I'm trying to initiate uh, and to uh, maybe uh, provoke the ideas because um, because it's really really very important if you are if the editor is passive, it's uh, very hard to work with their team also. So uh, communication, uh, during these weekly meetings, uh, uh, we, uh, and as we, all of us have uh, their own presentations uh, every week, um, it's become easier. So they're motivated uh, to, and uh, at the same time, the uh, shareholder, and I am also there. So there is a time to show up, to show their ideas and initiatives. In other case, uh, there is a possibility that um, maybe they are not uh, fit to this uh, position. So uh, they all are all trying to be active, uh, not on the same uh, page, but uh, they're really trying. And um, uh, from my perspective, I'm trying to give them enough stage uh, to uh, present their ideas also and to be in communication. So if you lose someone from the group, for example, I work to different uh, newsrooms and uh, uh, sometimes I see that they have absolutely separate teams who are not even communicate with other who are working uh, on their uh, own job and uh, one's job is just to uh, broadcast something and others just to put something on the web page and no other communication is, uh, between them. So uh, this is a real problem. Uh, everybody should be connected. If it's, it's, it's very useful and profitable for media organization and for themselves also, because uh, during communication, you're growing, your new ideas come up to you, because even, even for me, if I'm sitting in my room and uh, only uh, look, reading something or watching, and then no ideas come to me. So with this communication where uh, the new ideas are coming, and with trainings also. So uh, I think that we should motivate motivate people uh, to be uh, engaged uh, and to have the uh, one goal, not to compete with, com competition is also uh, useful, but uh, it should be like friendly competition. Sometimes 
uh, some competitor is uh, telling us, oh, I have the bigger uh, review views than you had. And that's like a joke, nothing to be upset <laughs> about. But you know, we, um, we're we working and we should be the first at the whole team. And this is the main motivation for us. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I, I think uh, we know each other. My name is Tamara Chigokiza. I'm the CEO of Radio Holding Fortuna. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Um, it's a pleasure to uh, hear from you, uh, your advices, you know, um, because you have a big experience uh, and you started earlier, the multimedia news transformation. And um, uh, it's very wonderful. I know that she was involved in these processes. Um, the question I have is uh, in regards to how do you retain your uh, resource, human resources? Because, you know, a lot of people, uh, there are so many, uh, especially I know you that, it, as you mentioned, you have a web developers team who are a part of your organization and you constantly do updates of your websites and you uh, keep going uh, to be uh, with the, what's going on, you know, uh, in the uh, in the world, you know, because you constantly need to do websites updates, correct? And uh, we just recently also updated our website. So and it's not an easy thing because uh, there are a lot of um, de developers now working overseas and there, there's a big competition uh, to retain and to attract actually the de developers uh, locally because they get much more money uh, from outside, from, from other countries because they have more resources than Georgia does. So how do you retain um, your newsroom, I mean, the staff in your uh, company and also the web developers staff? Yeah, thank you, Tamara, for a good question. So yes, uh, it's a real problem to have a good developers in-house because they're super, super expensive. Uh, but the uh, benefit for us is that our big group of developers and there are up to 10 uh, people there, uh, are working not only for our projects. So we are working on uh, outsource also, and uh, these uh, are mostly the companies from the other media house, not media companies, for example, Palitro L or BBC or others. Uh, and they have also the uh, orders from uh, the uh, outsource. So they are uh, not outsourcing, but they uh, uh, get some uh, orders from uh, commercial companies also. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we have a little bit profit from this. Uh, and at the same time, uh, we pay the salary uh, to them. Uh, I don't can tell, I can't tell you that it's a profitable, but uh, it's not as expensive as it could be <laughs> because right. it's super. So if we, sh if we look at the expenses, the biggest expenses are for the web development team because right. uh, they're, yes. yes uh, and they're how many super. people, uh, Natalia, are working for the web uh, team? So we have 10 in our ten uh, web developers, yes, right? Ten. Okay, I see. One, one manager and uh, backend developers and front-end developers, one designer. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for thank your you. Thank you. And here I add several sentences regarding the uh, web development issue because this is an issue, a really big issue always. Uh, here are two solutions, Tamara. One is for biggest organization like you, Tamara, or you, Natalia. The solution having in-house development team is good idea, which will work not only on you, but mm -hmm. like have it like a business and mm -hmm. we'll have a um, contracts from outside as well. Mm -hmm. And then you can use it for your purposes. But most important thing is uh, priorities. Priorities on selection of web engine. Because that mistake uh, is making very often by uh, editorial teams or by mm -hmm. media hosts. What I mean, uh, we know that there are two groups of web pages. One is which is written on code, and on one side it's unique because it's written on HTML code. Um, we have different programming languages, and it's your it's unique. But here, challenge is that you are dependent on that person or group of persons, and you need continuously investing on that web development and that comes, all we know that internet media in general is developing very fast, not daily, but early, 
browsers are changing day by day oh, and you need to make updates. Uh, and it's a terrible problem, all we know about it. Another solution is not to choose unique code writer web page, but choose so-called CMS, open CMS, open content management system, let's say so, which are, uh, and you have a big diversity of such uh, web pages, starting from easy and from fancy, like uh, can be WordPress, Joomla, Source Fabric, many, many things. Uh, and for example, you can take a WordPress, can have uh, just one person for making a little updates on it, like installing uh, necessary plugins, uh, depending on your needs or um, your ideas, what you will have. And this is exactly what Agile means. Like mm -hmm. that person should be a permanent member of your team, of editorial team, and will work on your request, not on your own, on editorial requests on daily basis. And it will be, I think, it will be always a better solution than uh, be dependent on code writer mm -hmm. web page. Okay, right. That's why we made changes. Uh, remember that we were uh, we created a multi. I mean, the web platform for Tunaji that yes. unites four radio stations, and we had the, yes. this unique player. Uh, and this can kind of this different approach required certain skills and certain solution a certain uh, tech, I mean um, uh, programming uh, um, skills you know programming uh, language and uh, that's what we were suggested but uh, as you mentioned it was very difficult uh, and it was actually expensive uh, to retain this kind of web platform yeah, because you, exactly so now we change it in december and we simplified the language that is used like wordpress uh, is mainly it's wordpress even though it has some uh, features that are uh, write it, wrote, written in different language um, because of the player we have integrated, you know, uh, radio Fortuna is mainly radio, right? 80% yeah. of income we get from the radio station because we have four national radio stations, uh, and the, uh, actually not even 80%, 90, uh, 90, 95 percent we get income from radio and then from web platform. It's a very small percentage we get from the web because there's a big competition uh, on the market because there's a, tons of news media outlets that have, you know, uh, also competing with us financially and most importantly international uh media outlet and google uh, facebook you know uh a lot of money uh as, as a big portion of money uh goes to international web platforms and i know it's not only our challenge it's a challenge that is facing other local medias all over the world because i have been attending many many conferences and that's what they are selling saying that's um that uh, facebook is a uh, gate um is a, like a, I mean, it's creating a lot of problems and challenges for different, uh, you know, um, media companies, and uh, so radios in uh, around the world are thinking how to overcome these problems, how uh, create um, be more benefits for the radio, you know, uh, for local markets. Uh, in, and so we just working um, and we uh, Radio Folding Fortune is a part of this European Radio Association and we're working on this problem. So I hopefully maybe in the future we create such uh, laws that uh, gives us more benefits the local to the local medias than to, you know, international uh, giants <laughs> that are operating on our yes. markets. Which is hard yes, to I agree. It's a big problem, but I'm very often using that word, but it's a topic of our workshop yes. or gathering, let's say. So, and here also plays a crucial role, a general approach. Mm -hmm. uh, it's well-known problem, of course, uh, nothing to do. We are in, in the era of so-called uh, social, social media discovery. And when on social media, everyone can create and publish whatever they want. And in that way, they are taking a lion's share, let's say so, from advertisement, be it Facebook or other platforms. Uh, and there is here we have a twofold problem, let's say so, twofold issue of it. One is that 
professional media outlets at the beginning try to be on track and with that way they became dependent on social media. Uh, from information, what I have, I have exactly. information. Uh, just can imagine in Georgia, that from of majority of media outlets, for majority of media outlets, about from eighty to ninety five percent of their referrals comes from Facebook, exactly, and from other uh, social media platforms, which means that you became dependent on social media platform. And you are playing with his rules. Exactly. Yeah. And all we know that, for example, Facebook is changing daily basis. Algorithms, even, even there was a joke in one conference that there was a tenant, one of the managers of Facebook, and he said that, honestly, even I don't know how that algorithm works. <laughs> it has been... It, it's changing so fast and often. Fast, yeah. Therefore, the agile approach, of course, we should use ability to find new audiences and open the new domains for for our content. But from the other hand, we should work on how to strengthen our own platforms. We should search for as as possible as more as possible engagement possibilities and opportunities in our own platform and here works that exactly the convergent newsroom plays a very good role agile planning and work team working let's say so and i want now having another question it was related with the communication because communication and in general working with team uh, plays a crucial role because as i said at beginning Himself, the agile approach, agile methodology is not just like prescripted rules on which you can follow and will be successful. It's just approach, it's just concept, philosophy. And that philosophy considers that three main things, three pillars, let's say so. And one of them is a team building and working with team and um, another is collaboration uh, on daily basis, uh, and the third pillar of it is be agile and working with iteration uh, method methods and processes. Always work to be better on daily on all the basis of your content. And when you are speaking for team building. Here should be many different things. For example, I know, Tamara, that uh, you are always trying conducting trainings, workshops for your team, even Palitra Media also is working on it. Uh, then very important thing is, uh, how to say, communication not only in newsroom, but outside of newsroom. Uh, here, well, very good role plays like retreats, many different activities outside of of, of daily newsroom routine. Uh, because with that way, then what Natalia mentioned that competition, let's say so, not non-healthy competition, I would say, between different editors or journalists that uh, not to collaborate with each other. Um, such a retreat, such a, I don't know, established friendships will help uh, establishing then collaboration also on professional field. Um, but also for the communication, what I want to share very important thing is using uh, different platforms for assignments. Of course, now face-to-face -face communication and uh, daily meetings are very necessary and crucial here. Uh, but also agile approach considers not only like daily planning meetings, like when you are conducting meeting uh, morning and crafting your daily agenda, but also meetings, stand up meetings. And why we are saying stand up meetings? It's a 10 minute, 15 minutes stand up meetings. 
every single hour, I don't know, every two hours when staff is sharing their challenges, I mean ongoing challenges, ongoing successes, what they can do, what they can, where they need help, what they can improve, what the new topics are arrived on daily agenda, and so. And here, very good, very good role can play uh, so-called online communication platforms for planning and development, which I can show you now what I am using in my daily work very successfully. And there are dozens, but I'll show you just several of them, which are, by the way, free. Uh, or okay, partially free, you can use them free for your specific purposes. And then when you want like further use it, you can take a subscription as well. So this is Trello, for example. It's crafted, this is designed by one of the Agile frameworks, Kanban, what I said. So here you can have, a, I don't know, 10, 20 members who can look in live and you can give assignments in live. For example, you can see here, there are three columns in progress to do done. And you can move the boards like assignments from to do to in progress or in done. And also you can add any necessary information inside in the board. Like I'll open another board where I can like information about that event. Uh, you can make just checklist. You can make voting system inside between the team about the ideas. You can even assign single person to the single board who is responsible for execution of that assignment, for example. And then it's free what I said, how I said, but then if you want subscription, here is different, many different things. Here you can have a calendar like shown by timeline, what assignments you have gave the table. And so this is one. Another is very easy. And, uh, and, and by the way, the Trello, what I said, and all the programs have applications like mobile applications, which means that for example, the reporter can it can have on hand. For example, when reporter is outside of the newsroom, there is no necessity having notebook or I don't know anything. All those platforms has their applications, and you can manage everything. See on your application on your smartphone. So then there is a very easy one, just to do. Maybe you know it's Microsoft's application. It's fully free, it have a desktop version, it have a mobile application version, and it have a browser version. Uh, and you can just add assignments. I don't know, like in that one easily. You can create lists for different departments, let's say, so I don't know, sport team, uh, politics team. And so you can have members by departments and by different lists. And even you can, see here that even you can uh, set the assigned to to some person then you can set the time and do a date so on which date like deadline set the deadline and you can even add the file for example your journalist is working on some news development issue and is on press conference outside and for that moment you receive new information about it. You can just add file and make the attachment on that information, of that information, and he will be able to read it and use it.
And as I said, it's very easy accessible from Microsoft Store. Uh, you can have it on your mobile phone because it have Android version, it have iOS version, everything. Another thing, another tool is also, is also Kanban tool is also free and it's very good for um, for having like past decision, which is one of the crucial um, topic in agile approach. For example, you are going to to have a decision about some topical article who, who will be work. You can make a pool between your team members and they will vote it from here. They can like move it from one column to the other. You can name the columns like, for example, this I have made for a roles in newsroom. Uh, probably we will use it in our workshop. Uh, what are the important roles? What are the supplementary roles? And staff can work online on it. And there is a more comprehensive, or of course, uh, other tools like it's Monday.com, uh, which is paid, but which have, uh, I don't know, dozens of functions. You can have a uh, assignments, you can have a voting, you can have a topics, descriptions, having chat, like inside chat, which is very important in daily development and daily work. And then you can see we are different kind of infographics, your work. Just it's not for free version, I see. Yeah, like a Kanban. So you can use it very nicely, I would say. Okay, do we have any questions or thoughts? More or we can continue? Okay, I think we can continue our work. I will still share our mirror. Okay, now I hope you can see my screen. And also, Natalia, you join it later. I shared the link for working directly in that workspace. Thank you. I will find it. Okay. We stopped on the backlog. Which actually is a for in case of newsroom actually is a like main points in terms of planning, uh, producing and publishing of materials. Uh, here are ideas, tasks, priorities waiting to be explored, and through our exercises we will populate the backlog with diverse story ideas ranging for breaking news updates to in-depth futures, prioritize tasks based on urgency, impact, and audience needs, and please take in consideration those three, uh, let's say, topics or I don't know, issues, which are uh, main navigators for successful uh, management of newsroom. Urgency, impact, and audience need. Because 
uh, even agile work, even in case of other fields, I don't know, be it software development or producing coffee machines. And most importantly, in case of uh, newsroom work, our work should be audience centric. Everything should be related with our audience, our interests, every our movie should be considered by made by considering interest of audience. Okay. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, here we have uh, several points while working on newsroom. Uh, first of all, it's a team working and selecting roles for our agile production team. Read two that exercise together. I've prepared here several roles. You can see right side. First of all, you can find that selecting roles for our agile production team. Hopefully everyone find it. You if you cannot see, just zoom out and then. You will see that kind of image of, I don't know, egg maybe. Okay. Uh, left side, you will see uh, pre made stickers with the different roles. Here are social media manager, traffic manager, digital editor, video editor, cameraman, copy editor, uh, multimedia reporter. And on the right side, you will see three uh, domains, let's say so. In the center is essential roles, then there are optional roles, and there are, and there are supplementary roles. Please move under your consideration or add additional role, if you think so, like I'm doing now. Or if you think, for example, I already inserted like news editor, although I'm thinking that it's, a, it's, a, it's an essential role, you can just, in, but you think that it should be like an optional domain, you can just copy paste it and put another place like that one. Or you can add another information, another position here. But before that, let's let let's take another advantage. One minute. I think much more better for. I should have somewhere here another Kanban platform. Good. I'll share the link of that Kanban or Kanban platform and let's try. Let's start from that exercise because it gives us more better understanding of of newsroom position roles and then we can based on it we can discuss about the positions and 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 their descriptions and then we can follow up by the miro workspace just i should find here Chat. Okay, I've shared the link of the new board. Hopefully, you will be able to join. And by the way, I'll Teaching. tell you how. Yes. Yeah, we have a question about uh, so Nelly write it that she's confused about what we are required to do in Miro. So shall we change workspace now? Yes. Yeah. And I I have shared the link in the chat. It's a latest link. Please click on it, and I'll give you follow it. Instruction or instructions or advices how how it works. It's very easy, by the way. Tachi, we we cannot receive this 
the link. I cannot see. So you can see. Yeah, you did you do in meeting group chat or you make some direct message? Uh, I I shared I see the only one chat to be honest here. Uh, it's a meeting group chat. Okay. What about others? I don't see it. Only mirror, uh, mirror link is the last one. Yeah, I see the last one. Uh, maybe it mirror? was direct. Or boards, boards yes. .com. Boulder boards. Boulder boards, it's latest one. Yes, it is what we need. Ah, wait, wait a minute. I did it. <laughs> I need to take training, looks like, on using of Zoom. Yes. Now you will be able to see, hopefully. Yeah, we will we, we see. Thank you, Tatiana. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Sandro. Looks like it was changed in somehow the direction of who can see. Okay, just tell me if you are able to see, to enter the on the provided platform and I'll explain how it works. Yes, we see it. Great. It's a Kanban board. Uh, first of all, on the right side, you can see the button settings. Click on it and then click on set your name and just insert your name or don't insert. I don't know how you prefer. And then here we have two columns. One is import called important roles and other is supplementary roles. I have prefilled those cards. But of course you can add another one if you cannot see here what you think that is um, important or necessary having uh, the position having in your, your newsroom. And then you can move it like that one, how I did, to the other column. So if you think that, for example, the forward planning editor is not important role and just supplementary role, you can move it to the supplementary role. Or also, if you think that like forward planning editor can be merged to the, I don't know, to the position of, uh, let's say, traffic manager, you can merge it. If you think that there are the same positions. And then you can vote giving importance to the position. You have 10 votes. Sorry, could you please repeat how do we vote for each card? I skipped it. Ah, you can see on the right above corner on each card. Ah, okay. Icon of, yeah, yeah. Icon yes. Of black. yes. Thank you. You're welcome.
Natasha, all roles are important, but I think that some uh, of them could be uh, joined into one uh, position, not to have so many yeah, of so, them. So you can merge them, like taking and merge to the okay, thank you. other card. And also, I merge. I made it uh, specifically for inspiring you. Like I have written here, multimedia reporter and journalist, which I believe should be one person. As well as maybe intake editor and news editor, I don't know, let's discuss about it. And please don't hesitate to ask if any position is unclear for you or you need more description for any single position. Who did the board 22 who merged social media manager and traffic manager? I think it was me. Um, Why do you think so? I think the logic is similar. These are just different platforms, isn't so? It uh, is. Uh, can I ask a question, Dachi? Um, I think for us, uh, as you mentioned, since 80% of traffic comes from uh, Facebook platform, this particular, um, in our for our company, uh, this position is very important because we need uh, a very good uh, social media manager, uh, editor who can attract, you know, who can provide us, you know, who can actually manage uh, the traffic from uh, social media. To, uh, uh, to our website. That's why yes. I voted for it. I don't know for other companies, media companies, how they attract uh, their visitors. Yes, but here oh, are some no. cons, Pamara. I agree with you fully, but here are some, some pros and cons. First of all, if you think that the social media manager's position is uh, crucial and uh, yes. important. For us, yes. Let's move it on important roles, first of all. Mm -hmm. and then discuss about it because what is the situation now we already said that for certain circumstances media outlets became dependent on social media mm -hmm. and uh yes Nelly, just wait a second i'll answer to tamara and then uh we'll turn to you so and you said that therefore we need like this is this is important role, but why I have uh, divided like traffic manager and social media manager? If someone asks me, first of all, okay, it's okay. Social media manager utilizes social media to broaden to reach of news content, publishes news uh, on the social media platform, decides which format should have uh, that or another content. And by the way, is looking on insights of social media, like social media traffic. But mm -hmm. I strongly believe that in the situation when we are recognizing that 
professional media outlets should became independent from social media and should make everything to become independent and having its own engagement with the auditory, with the audience, um, having everything hanged on social media manager, I think it's not right approach. Because with that way, social media manager is looking only from their prism, you know, because that person is looking, is working on social media and is trying making everything in social media. And it's natural because it's their domain, let's say so. But if we will have another person like traffic manager, independent person, and we can merge that position, of course, to the other one, I don't know, let's discuss about it. That person will look to the wider picture. That person will have a wider information, more than it can be just social media. Despite the fact that, yes, I agree with you, I'm recognizing the role of social media as far as we are living in social discovery age. And okay, many things are dependent. And uh, I said that uh, majority of our referrals are coming from social media platforms, but still we should resist that tendency. And that's what why I'm saying it having like it separately. Uh, better having uh, from outside of the social media, uh, insights of social media, like having a bigger picture and among them, the traffic of social media, then having everything hanged on one person who is overseeing the social media platforms. Maybe yes, I'm listening to you. Um, thank you. I think you've probably addressed a little bit uh, most of what I was going to say. For the social media um, tracking, which Tamara is talking about, I think that is mostly the job of a community manager who keeps people on social engaged, checks their traffic and, you know, reports on that prism of the social reach. Um, my background is in broadcast um, TV and radio. And in all of those times, we had a traffic manager. And what the traffic manager really does is keeps record, not just of merging the flow of content and publication dates and timing, but keeps records of this frequency as it relates to advertising um, revenue, as it relates to partnership uh, and uh, and however else your, um, the newsroom's um, source of income is, whatever your um, business plan is. But that's actually what the traffic manager does. It goes the extra mile of not just keeping track of these things, but not just, um, checking those publication dates, but keeping records of them as it relates to different income generating um, avenues um, and reach also of the of the newsroom or the organization itself. And by that reach, I mean post-social. The traffic manager and the community or social media manager can work together on that, but they are two separate rules. So I was the one who split them because of the two separate rules that they have. And I think one of the problems some newsrooms have these days is not having a traffic manager because outside of the aggregation of social media, most newsrooms don't have any other form, any other way to aggregate how their work spreads. Um, for instance, in our newsroom, we do a lot of partnership um, with other newsrooms to republish. And we have a problem tracking those third party users because those newsrooms don't have proper tracking of you know publication dates, where the mm -hmm. how far and near the story goes outside of social media. They can't tell that. So I think that is very valuable for newsrooms who may not have a traffic manager to reintroduce it. And for those that do to actually understand the and prioritize the roles of traffic managers. I haven't moved it to important yet, but I just wanted to make a pitch for why I split it. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So, so with that comprehensive insights, and Actually, I fully agree with you. I think it will be very interesting if you provide uh, the newsroom structure where we can in include all these positions and who depend what and what are their uh, job obligations and who belongs to whom and dependent on whom. So, if you can provide maybe with the next lecture, it will be very interesting because uh, with the traffic manager, we we don't have this kind of position, and I think. 
um, the social media manager, she combines some of the parts of this, you know, it's like a, uh, she has many, many different tasks that is combined under social media manager. She's like more editor plus social media. And um, so maybe it's a lot of overload on her, on her shoulders, but that's how we, uh, the, the system in our company has been set up. But it would be interesting to know what are the tendencies of the newsroom, you know, um, uh, so maybe with the next meeting you can provide us. Yeah, yeah, I have planned it for tomorrow's session, mm -hmm. uh, um, presenting that full structure of, of newsrooms, uh, how to say, uh, distribution of, of duties and responsibilities. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but what I wanted to add here, um, and uh, somehow echoing Nelly's remarks, uh, yes, I agree on, we have is somehow under how to say underestimated or uh, not to really properly traffic manager because in case of georgia media alignment i don't know how it is in case of our colleagues from other countries uh traffic many we are looking very easy on job of traffic manager and mostly uh it's um, we are thinking that traffic well only think what traffic manager should do is just open the Google Analytics in best case scenario, because otherwise usually they are looking on plugins of WordPress or any other website and just saying that, okay, guys, last month we had, a, I don't know, 5,000 visitors and it's finished, which is not totally right approach. Traffic manager has to do far more than just saying, counting visitors. Uh, traffic manager should looking on search engine optimization. Traffic manager should looking on flows, on auditory segregation, like by age, by geography, by specific content. And even when people started reading or viewing that content and when they finished and then when we are speaking about uh, sprint retrospectives what i said here in case of agile approach and we will speak about it tomorrow as well um during the sprint rest retrospective team also is uh discussing about their not only about their successes but also about their disadvantages about their failures. And here, traffic manager has a mission to say that people started reading that article and abandoned it after, I don't know, five seconds. Or that specific piece of video product was interesting only for that specific region. And then we should make our decisions, what to improve, what to change. And this is why we need traffic manager. In addition, what I how I, what I said, traffic manager we need exactly for widening and improving our independence, not to be dependent on social media. And here I have one idea because uh, Nail said that she divided those two positions like community uh, manager and traffic manager. But you know, it depends on our resources. If newsroom is big and we have resources having those two positions, uh, then it's okay, of course. But I think we just can create community engagement and traffic manager, that position, who will be responsible for community engagement. And community engagement means engagement from many other domains, not only on web page or even outside on online space, it can be for radio, radio audience, it can be related with the planning on different events and so and so, but also for traffic management. Even that person I don't know can have a staff, I like now very much that creating the idea of creating the position because I believe that person can make many uh, profitable things for newsroom. Mm-hmm.
And here, yeah, it sounds like a data analyst analyst position, same like we all have. Yes. Yes, I agree. And this is what it is. The traffic manager is far more than just, I don't know, numbers of visitors or some data analysis. Analysis means not just to having numbers, but having narrative behind all those numbers. And I, I'm always saying that traffic manager is a right hand of assignment editor who is planning what to do and what not to do. Because those decisions, those decisions should be evidence-based decisions, not like saying uh, personally what they think is good or don't think is good. So let's move traffic manager to important roles with your permission. And I'll add here also the community manager. Why not? Or maybe community engagement manager. What do you think? And maybe I'll merge it with the traffic manager. Mm -hmm. Yes, I cannot see where the traffic now is here. Okay. So looks like we have finished or not yet. Uh, I would like to pose a question if you allow. Sure. Um, regarding uh, one more position, I see that uh, there is no, uh, there are a lot of, mar um, a lot of managers here, um, but uh, who are actually uh, directly or indirectly related to marketing. Uh, but there is no, or at least I don't see the marketing manager here. So um, it's easier for bigger companies, for bigger uh, media groups uh, to manage uh, these kind of roles in the separate positions. But uh, if we talk about the smaller uh, newsrooms, smaller uh, startup media, for instance, um, how do you see marketing position within this kind of structure? And do you see it's uh, as an important role or supplementary role uh, in, in which case? Thank you. Uh, thank you for the question. Now, I will not be honest and the right person if I will say that marketing manager is not important role in case of newsroom. Although, unfortunately, uh, I know that at least in, in Georgian media field, my colleagues are not looking with that way. And in somehow marketing manager is a, how to say, a foreigner outside person from newsroom team. Uh, as far as uh, that person is working on not on editorial, but on marketing issues. But if we are, if we are speaking that commercial independence is a crucial for media outlets, if we are speaking that having commercial income is a important issue for media outlets, then we 
should uh, estimate properly uh, the marketing manager's position. You don't agree with me? Uh, yes, I agree, uh, but uh, the, the term marketing is very, very wide. Uh, we we see their research as, uh, for instance, uh, here one position is about the researching. Uh, here is about, uh, it, it's more connected to editorial work, uh, but still uh, these these research tasks are uh, crucial for, for both commercial, I don't know, advertising, uh, as well as uh, searching for new stories to, you know, get grant for, uh, attract some more investments and so on. So these are very like different tasks, but uh, who could be which could be merged uh, to one or two persons uh, actually in a, in a uh, news outlet. Now, to be honest, I don't see the possibility of merging, for example. In our case, researcher, Maybe it should be, I don't know, named otherwise, uh, maybe editorial researcher, or I don't know, something like that. Here, researcher is strictly uh, works on editorial tasks, like conducting depth research to support new stories with relevant information. It's not related with, I don't know, grants opportunities or commercial opportunities or market research or anything. And also, I don't know what do you think, but I think those positions should be independent from each other. Because researcher, in our case, I, I don't know, let's name it editorial researcher, not sure, but for avoiding confusion. And a lot of more works than Thank yeah, you. for me also, I think that this researcher could be more combined with a journalist, maybe multi multimedia or with an editor who is looking for the new ideas and new stories. And a marketing role is a person who is uh, caring about your own branding and your uh, positioning uh, on the market. So I think that uh, it's absolutely different roles. And uh, yeah, ma marketing is super important. Um, sometimes in some newsrooms, marketing is doing the uh, role of uh, uh, advertisement person, so who is looking for um, advertisements and uh, grant possibilities, and this is also acceptable if he, if he is this um, key person and can do both, that would be great. But still, please include the marketing manager in the list. Because I don't see, we have not it. No, we have not it. I'd like to also agree with uh, Beata that uh, for us, uh, uh, the marketing person is very, very important because of most of the money that uh, comes for the advertising comes from integrated uh, content production, uh, content that is uh, goes to radio and uh, websites. So actually in charge of those, the, the production of this um, type of content are responsible, our marketing managers who uh, bring the content to uh, our company. There are uh, like a business and uh, you know special business um, um, content uh, that are content that are interesting for our clients, and um, this is mostly the money that is uh, funded that funds uh, the um, our digital platform. So for us, as Piata said, it's also a very important uh, role. You know, for uh, to yes, Tamara, I yeah. agree with you, but here also is what I want to underline one very important issue um, in newsrooms should be divided very clearly at least we had uh, such a problems in in several georgia newsrooms should be divided very clearly like editorial work editorial content let's say 
public interest topics content and yes. marketing content. Right, exactly. And tensions, as usually, I said that unfortunately, uh, newsroom workers are looking a uh, bit, uh, I don't know, differently um, from marketing people, and they don't count them as a newsroom members. It's related with that. Uh, because often um, marketing, so I don't know uh, how often it's happened, but it happens. Um, they cannot see sometimes border. You understand me? Yes, it we seems... control that. We control yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. We try yeah. to. Yeah, yeah I agree. And, and then there comes tensions and the yeah, conflicts for it. But, but of course, as I said, it's a, one of the most important roles in newsroom. As yeah. far as we are working for commercial income, whatever to be. Mm -hmm. Exactly, we are commercial. And we don't get fundings, you know, for like uh, any other parties or anything. We are very uh, transparent and independent media. So the only income we might have is from um, selling the advertisement. Or, uh, for example, this is the first time that we are in the European Union project right now. And so we do receive the funding that's for the first time. So this is the only uh, funding we receive, though. So we need somehow some kind of financial sustainability, you know, for us to exist, uh, for the web platform to exist. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. So now let's see how we have distributed and divided roles. Uh, and just let's vote and under a voting system uh, cards will be moved to the column most who will, which will receive most votes will be moved on higher positions which not on down and then let's try merge them because uh, whatever to be uh, the financial situation um, makes us to think more how to say more 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 with more work with more tight budget and merge positions as as more as possible. Just of course it should be like logical. We cannot merge everything in one person. So are you voting two cards or not? Then let's see what are the supplementary roles by under estimation. Do you think that social media managers should be on the supplementary roles? Hmm. And why? So it depends on the time, I think, because a year ago it was the main position in the newsroom, but as the, uh, the uh, social media algorithms are uh, going down, uh, we are uh, putting less effort in the social media because we'll see that this, this is not the future of the media. So we should find new ways to uh, attract audience and not rely on no social media. But I think it's still the uh, key role for the newsroom. Yes, but I think maybe in five years, uh, the situation could change, can change, could change. Yeah, I agree with you, but look now how it works. As far as you started thinking how to attract as more as possible audience directly to a web page. Still, you it means that still you need experienced and 
well-trained social media manager because you need some actions, uh, activities done in social media and with that way take traffic from them, like uh, make some published site, you know, some different, create some different things which will help you to move your audience from uh, social media directly to your web page. So it's a, let's say, battle. And uh, if you are not in that field, you cannot win that battle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what about production manager? Uh, if it's up to me, I will combine most of these roles <laughs> on this board. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just <laughs> keeping it sitting know, quiet. I know. <laughs> I, what about Tamara? Yeah, I agree totally. <laughs> because unfortunately, we don't have this um, uh, opportunity. And I, I forgot the right the Russian, I mean, sorry, English. Luxury, word. let's say so. Luxury, exactly. We don't have the luxury to, to have that, as many positions because. Uh, the, the the you know the financial situation doesn't allow us to you know to have so many uh, members in our team. Unfortunately, we wish we have it, but unfortunately we don't. Uh, so that's why we somehow try to allocate those uh, tasks to certain people. Uh, and I think um, uh, that it will be very interesting, as I said, uh, to provide us like more optimized model for the future, how to, what is the multimedia newsroom for future? Because we made the transformation about five years ago, I believe, or yes. maybe more long. So, but everything is changes, right? Uh, and very sure, rapidly. And all the positions, even when when coming in the AI and chat uh, GPT and all these <laughs> programs and stuff, everything is changing. The media landscape and all the demands, everything changes. So um, I think um, it will be very interesting to hear from you. What are the updates? What are the future opportunities? for the multimedia user how we can use these opportunities of AI uh, in the future um, so that can optimize the content make it uh, to do editing or whatever and creating the content faster and faster but not compromising but not you know you know firing uh, your staff because I think it's not you no know, that would be ethical but just optimizing and make it be working more productively. So um, I think uh, uh, like moving this direction will be very interesting uh, for the newsroom as well. And your advice on this matter on this uh, will be very interesting. I'll try my best. <laughs> okay. I have planned that uh, activity, but before that, please, can you merge position because your so insights are I, I will and... just sound oh. it because I, I'm not as brave to, <laughs> to merge it all. So in my opinion, so a photo editor uh, could be the digital editor at the same time. And, and video the editor. Video. And the video yeah. editor also. Photo video editor, yes, together. Yes, merge it. Merge it. How oh, do, uh, oh, do it? Yeah. Ah, OK. Yeah. One moment, one moment. I will because do it. you still can ah. see divided position, just it will be in one card. So it gives me the ability to rethink and respond on your, let's say, request. Ah, sorry, sorry, I have to find it. <laughs> the link. You can find it in, uh, or I can yes. share still one more time if you want. But it should be in. One moment. One moment. I, I merged oh. it. Uh, yeah, I merged it, but I even uh, will dream to uh, merge it all <laughs> with, uh, I mean, the digital program editor and the photo editor. Oh, it didn't merge. I don't know why. You just yeah. should retry and fresh. put all the other cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put them and they, uh, and it, it uh, showed that it's merged, but now it's the separate again. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's merged. I should re 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 it's refresh time, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like graphic designer also can be merged to uh, maybe to a video uh, editor. How do we, sorry, how do we merge it? I Just, just put uh, one to another, merge. Click uh, on merge. the card, uh, Tamara, click on the card and retrieve it on the card on which you want to merge. 
yeah i clicked yeah graphic designer i just put it and then i went i'm going down to uh video um where is it video hmm oh here yes digital editor okay and photo editor yeah and then just put it here right no but it's not merging i'm sorry <laughs> ah yes. yeah it's done it's yeah. done okay okay it's done, it's done now, I okay see. okay mm -hmm. and archive editor we don't have such a position in our company <laughs> archive editor i don't know yeah Let's it's more look. for tv stations because they oh. need yeah oh i see okay they need this well-organized archive and that's uh now so let, me, let me and... let me ask let me ask when, for example, um, editorial team is working on, let's say, the recent developments so about the uh, when government is going to adopt the that uh, foreign agent law, and uh, you need to prepare material about it, okay? And sure. also here you should uh, input in that material the developments, but took part last year. Then you need some, I don't know, interviews, some shots, frames, infograph, what, what has been done. And uh, for that time, media worked very well, all we know. So there is a huge material about it. Who is searching for all those materials and uh, who is crafting them? The editor? In this situation for us, editor, yes. We don't editor. have a separate and, position for a Okay, and how is managed? How editor is searching? Just searching on web page or you have some separate storage for materials, like raw materials? Both. Uh, we have from website and also for separate materials where we have archived all this information. Because okay, sometimes, so... like when you conduct interviews, you have to have those uh, recorded and pre recorded, right? So when somebody wants to check the validity of certain kind of interviews, you need to record all these interviews. And we have sp a special storage area where all this information goes there. And the technical well, it's, person also it's... in charge of technical uh, to provide the, uh, you know, uh, the, yes. that this information is not going to be lost. Yes. And is this connected via internet, via the computers? Uh no, I don't think, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think it's separately. I have to check, double check with my technical stuff. So here can be two solutions. One mm -hmm. solution is the old solution, what Natalia mentioned. We had it in TV stations. There was a one person in one room uh, with one computer and a big wooden cabinet with a different uh you know those dvd discs old-fashioned types and many many video players many kind of different kind of video players and uh, you should uh, approach to that person and ask what you wanted uh, and they search it for it and then you are able to use it another approach is more modern i would say uh, um, still having archive manager or we are speaking for manager he that person has not a big team it's only one person just we are saying manager because that person is managing mm. uh, archiving uh, such see. things so that manager is looking that person archive editor let's say or archive manager is looking for the materials for example by end of the day and archives like raw materials what that person believes that will be needed in future uh, and i don't know then there are different ways of archiving there can be software there can be just i don't know in excel file and so on uh, but uh, and i will explain further on tomorrow's session about it there are many many different ways Cheap ones, expensive ones, fancy ones, easy ones. For example, most easy one is having just Google, uh, Google Doc, or I don't know any kind of Google form, which will be accessible for all journalists, and you can manage who can access that file, and there will be like sorted all the material. 
by different criteria. It can be by time, by events, by personalities, or all of them. And journalists, if they want to find something, they are searching on that Google Doc form and requesting to archive editor. Now someone will ask why there is a need of fifth wheel like archive editor if journalists can search the material, why not to have access to the storage and take it from it? Then here came a security issue uh, because not every person is tech savvy, let's say so. Someone can delay it accidentally, someone can rename accidentally the material, um, and many, many different uh, issues can be raised up. Uh, for that reason, is much more better, like pay one time, as we say, and having that sophisticated, they are not very expensive, by the way, system, which will be accessible for all the users. Even you can make a, uh, how to say, the criteria, having criteria with the different levels of access on it. And it, through that system, journalists can himself, without any having any archive editor, can search the needed material, find, copy it to their computer and use it. But for that reason, you having just storage or hard disk is not enough. You need some, some uh, one of the sophisticated archive software which will work like a content management system. Mm -hmm. And there are many different uh, solutions for it. It's not like we are not speaking about $10,000, of course. There are many, even, even Tamara, I know the guy, I requested him to create, craft such a software for TV station years ago. Mm -hmm. And he did it, he, it was excellent. Like it was software and even in Georgian language. And you was able to search materials by event, date, personalities, and so on. But I would appreciate if you share the information with us. Yeah, yeah, I, I'll search. I, I haven't contacted him for mm -hmm. years, but I, I'll search. I will try. But Thank still, you. you someone responsible who will make that archive. It should mm -hmm. be journalists himself or one dedicated person or editor. But mm -hmm. editor, we know that we have to editor so many things that I just know how that person will be mm -hmm. um, available to make such a things. Yeah, okay. Sure. Okay, we will turn back to that board tomorrow, I guess, when we will work on like shaping newsroom. But now let's go back to the Miro. Or I don't know if you want, we can take a five minute break, maybe. Yeah. I think yes, we're, yes. yeah, okay. okay. How many, sorry? I just, I I just bring some water. <laughs> no, no, yeah, how many minutes, sorry? I didn't hear that. Five or 10, I ah, yeah, sure. How you prefer. Yes, yeah, five minutes, minutes is fine. Yes, yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Okay, 10 minutes then. Okay, see you later.
Okay, can you continue, looks like? I'm here. Great. Hopefully others as well. Okay, please go now to Miro, to our workspace. Tachi, sorry for this, but I also don't have this uh, link because it's invisible uh, for me as I was late. So okay. actually, I, I will resend it, so. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, I also can share it. You can find the link in chat. It's the latest message in the group chat of the Zoom. So before, can I start? But I see the people are in the mirror. There are some moments. So before the break, we talked about selecting roles for our agile production team. But before that, I had a question here and I want to ask about the fact checking. And we had not here fact checker, but we have here copy editor. This actually is not uh, directly fact checking, but can uh, merge that function also. Uh, but still, if you think that if you believe that fact checker should be in the staff, like separately, please edit like a separate card. And then we can merge it or I just now discuss on tomorrow's session why we will shape um, the team and distribution of duties. Uh, I would not put on the separate role fact checker because I think that the uh, uh, journalist uh, he, herself is responsible for the fact checking and then uh, editor will check it to double check it. I think it's too much for the organization. Yeah, I would say it depends on the assignment and workflow. It depends on specific like task, for example, if team is working on investigative journalism piece, then there is a need of fact checking. Uh, even in that case, I'm always suggesting have a, not only the fact checking, like a fact checking, but having consultations with a lawyer, uh, like legal make a legal fact checking, because when you are working on investigation, uh, then you should be done, you should be already, you should have a perfectly crafted, I don't know, opinions, materials, interviews, without without any single doubts, I would say so. Uh, so in that case, I believe that uh, you need fact checker. But now for daily work, uh, I agree with you. First of all, it's responsibility of journalists and First of all, it's responsibility of editor. And then I think uh, having copy editor, uh, the position is fully enough. We will review and edit 
quicker content for accuracy and quality as well. Uh, but also we'll take a look on accuracy on facts. Uh, yes, but still uh, it doesn't mean that in case of investigative journalism, we don't need such a position. We need it. But sometimes not all newsrooms are working on it very often. In case of Georgia, for example, there are several specific groups uh, of journalists who are working on, on investigations and they have such a position. And uh, about the role of producer, uh, uh, in our case, producer is replaced uh, with several editors, we are calling it editors, or your manager, I don't know, maybe production manager fits on that uh, assignment, but still it depends on the workflow, as I said, and it depends on the mission, what we are doing, what we are working now. If it's clearly like TV content, TV station, and it's not convergent newsroom, but it is just clearly TV station, then of course they need TV producer as well. And even several kind of producer, I would say. But in case of converged newsroom uh, and the agile framework, I don't see such a need because it can be uh, managed by production manager uh, or additionally by the editor. So still it depends how, uh, how, how to say big and diverse the workflow is. In case of uh, Palitra Media, not uh, how we are managing the TV platform, but I think it have a, like a dedicated staff, what I remember. Yes, that's right. Yeah, okay. So I see here on the mirror, we have distributed and positioned some roles. In the essential roles, I see a video editor, social media manager, Futures editor, news editor. I have no I video editor, so someone put it in the optional roles. Okay. We will work on it tomorrow's session when we will work on like shaping and distribution of this the distribution of duties, as I said, but today let's work on the content. Because as I said, we have a team and we have also content and um, selecting of topics, general content is a main thing. It's our backlog, what is in Agile framework in case of, I don't know, software development. Uh, in our case, it's a, a production backlog means our main occupancy, I would say. Let's start from the selecting of topics. Here you can see I crafted several dashboards. Those are, uh, let's say, radars of of daily workflow. And we have here several columns, several specific dashboards. One is breaking news, then comes public interest topics, current events, and evergreen content. Now, the most important thing for newsroom for attracting audience and then keeping that audience is keeping the balance between all those domains. Uh, and it can be achieved with uh, keeping several indexes. Those are public interest index, 
and this index counts the relevance and significance of topics based on their societal impact and public relevance. And there are no like orders, just can you imagine that those indexes are all equal, are all and should be relevant and should be mm, kept equally. Then comes index of thematic diversity, because if you will work just only one or two specific topics, I mean for daily workflow, it will not work, of course. This index measures the breadth of and variety of themes covered within the content, ensuring a well-rounded representation of different subjects and issues. I mean, inside of the specific topic, but here also I mean, uh, index of different, of diversity of themes and topics. And then comes index of localization, like occasional diversity, which means that, for example, we, we need to keep like a uh, uh, right geographic representation within the contents in our planning, because if all our, I don't know, daily workflow of news will be dedicated to one city only, or capital city, or even only one country, we will have not information about uh, in, from the all over the world. Uh, in events, what are happening, we will not we will not be able to attract the audience and keep it. And then also a very important index is good and bad news index. Uh, and um, here I don't know we can have discussion even about it because previously uh, you know, there was a one saying you probably all of you know that good news is a bad news and it's not right approach my friends because um, this is why then happened so called uh, news avoidance, which is very problematic uh, today's media, well, all well, not only in Georgia. Why? Because, because in some some period of time, media thought that uh, if they will speak only negative news, if they will scare the audience, the people with the um, I don't know dangers, catastrophes. Of criminals and so and so, uh, audience will be interested, more interested, and uh, their content will be more attractive. But time shows that it's not the right approach. Time shows that people can be tired from bad news. Time shows that people like positive news as well. People like good examples of humanity as well. But it does not mean that we should only create content I don't know about um, goodness of our life, about good uh, personalities, about butterflies, nature, and so and so. Or even worse, saying that people is living very good, everything is fine in the country, because the first uh, mission of media is to be critical, agree with me. But it does not mean that it should be crafted like a self-mission and main goal. And then that should be seen everything under the negative prism. Therefore, I'm suggesting having good and bad news index. This index evaluates the ratio of positive and negative news coverage, providing insights into the our opponent balance not only the specific one content, but in general of our coverage of our uh, news flow, content flow, working flow, let's say so. Because all we know uh, while uh, during the planning of the day, Nata and Tamara will agree me, you always have a opportunity or chance or ability to keep such balance because there are many uses uh, and you should choose what to cover. Uh, 
Uh, and another thing that I have not here mentioned, but I will have tomorrow session, there are two kinds of nuances which we consider need to keep balance between them. Our nuances are which are coming to us themselves, uh, which means that news is what are happening and what are open to all media outlets. And we need to take them and just cover with our way, of course, uh, with our unique way, I would say. Uh, and there are second kind of news is which I think are most important for success of media outlet for attracting the audience. There are news is what we should to find. There are news is what we should to search. Uh, they are not like happening themselves um, and they are not well known for everyone. Let's say so like, I don't know, be it some political event or I don't know, some disaster or anything, but you should find such a searching, such an interesting uh personalities interesting events which are not covered by and we can make them public and then comes genre diversity index this index examines the range of content genres represented in our news flow uh which means that which means that um what what genre means We should not, and, and here also we should not like be a hostage of, of trends, let's say. So for example, some period of time when I started working on uh, establishing uh, integrated newsrooms, or I don't know, had a different kind of trainings of multimedia journalism. Um, it was a trend and it, it came from newspapers, mostly for print, when uh, all the journalists was crafted like long reads with um, analysis, um, deep thinking, and so and so. And then it was replaced with a trend together with the uh, internet popularity, let's say so. Um, and it's truth, it's like, it's right that content should be as short as possible, uh, but still it was uh, understood wrongly. And then journalists have started like making almost nonsense content, like very short, like several words and so and so. Uh, but we always should remember that um, as far as our audience is diverse, there are different kinds of people. Someone likes the short news, someone likes uh, long reads, someone likes just make quizzes, someone, I don't know, likes crime to crime stories. Uh, so we, we should keep that index of diversity of genre. And while planning, then came the well-known the quality triangle. I, I don't know if you are aware of it. Most probably who was uh, worked with. It's it mostly known for, for business cycles, let's say so. What that quality triangle means? It has three corners, quality, time and cost. And that concept explains that while producing any good, be it any product, be it, I don't know, a coffee machine or be it uh, multimedia material like media product, you should choose two of them. Not not should, but must choose. You have not another choice. What does it mean? If you are willing to able to spend a lot of money, then the project can be completed quickly 
is high quality result because you can provide more resources toward the development. If the project's completion date is not a priority, then it can be completed with a lower cost with higher quality results and smaller team with a fewer resources. Uh -huh. So if you are going to have high quality material in a short time, then you should spend more money, which means that you should choose the quality and time. If you have a time, then you can make with a small amount of money high quality product. Or if you have a, if you can spend a lot of money, you can attract many resources and you have quality product in a short time. But in news production, we, to be profitable, we cannot like, even even having uh, many financial resources, we cannot spend everything on every single piece of content, be it important or not important. And therefore we should um, guide with those indexes. What I explained previously. And then we have here the our next exercise. You can see here different, almost all possible formats of content, or you can add if you, if you think that there is a missing something. And you can just, you should just select from here, from, from storage of formats and put in the proper column. So here we have a text-based content, image-based content, video content, audio content, and so on. And what I want to explain until we started working on the exercise that having something in text-based content, of course, okay, for example, short article does not mean that there is only text without any image. It means just that the primary role here has a text. Of course, it will be followed with a um, photo. Or in case of image, it does not mean that you will have just photo without any uh, quotation or without any name or title on it or text, but the major role here will have a uh, photo. So let's do that exercise and then we can continue.
Also, some of the stickers, of course, can be fitted not only in one column exclusively. For example, I see now here is a expert's opinion. It can be recorded video or can be text-based content. So we can just copy paste it and put in the column of text-based content as well. And if you think that there is a missing any kind of content, please edit. Here are stickers I have prepared for you. You can write on it and put on the proper column. Okay, looks like we have finished. Or if someone wants to add anything, please. Uh, Dachi, I, I was not able to copy paste it. I don't know, for some reason. I was Which trying- one? Just send it? Which sticker? Uh, for example, short articles. Some, they, they are also, I mean, text-based and image-based, right? Uh, some of the- yes. uh, but I couldn't duplicate or copy it. For some reason, there was no paste options. It was it was it was not doing it. Can you show how you uh, do they do it? Copy. Okay. And you can just make a you know control V. Ah, control C and control V. Yeah, C like yes. paste. Paste. It doesn't have paste. Yeah, because I try I, duplicate. I, I'm doing it because it has a duplicate but it's another option. But it didn't do it. Uh, exactly. it did something yeah. different. When I did duplicate, it didn't yes, do it. It's 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 another future. Yeah, just you can make a control C, control V. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I see. Okay. <clears throat> I see someone destroyed it accidentally. It should be interactive, I think.
Uh, I have never worked in Miro uh, yet, and I think this is very a very good tool for the site site mapping and mind mapping. Yes, yes, exactly. That's why I choose it uh, for our workshop because this is very good platform, exactly even for planning for for media production for making things yeah. because. Uh, it has also many ready-made templates. You can see here, it's a second button. If you click here, you can find many, many, like for agile work, for, for agile workflows, for brainstorming, strategy and planning. You can choose from here and use for your convenience. Mm -hmm. So really, Thank really you. very, very practical tool. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I think we have finished it. Let's review what we have done. First of all, uh, first of all, why I decided to have that exercise. Uh, not like uh, learn what you know and what don't. The issue is that the main problem in the modern newsrooms is that very often editors are thinking that some specific topic needs some specific kind of coverage. For example, I don't know some breaking news, for example, uh, what we will have tomorrow, like an exercise for uh, modeling uh, coverage, that destroying of Baltimore's bridge someone will think that it should be covered only with the article or with the video or anything. Any provided here format can be fitted on any topic. Even I hit here, but one minute we lost some because I hit here also infotainment, what I remember, but I cannot see. One minute, I'll make that column as well. Because this is also very useful and important format of So I have an additional column here. Uh, and it seems there wasn't some educational content and we also lost, uh, lost it. Yes, it was. <laughs> It's my fault I should, because it has a function when you're making something, you can see the lock. Yeah. You should, you should lock not to be edited. Mm -hmm. Accidental. And I didn't, but when I crafted, I, some of them has a, some of, some of them not. But okay, we will return to that topic because this is very important topic for newsroom planning and production. Just let's search now where was that. Okay, let's start reviewing from the beginning and I'll distributing those stickers. Let's say distributing those stickers properly because somewhere I saw the tutorials there was.
but don't see how fortunate it looks like we lost all, all columns with the content together. Yeah, it was delayed with the stickers. So it's okay, mm -hmm. we'll mm -hmm. memorize them. Yeah, okay. Maybe you can help me, please, all of you, and fill the educational content here. What can be? Uh, there were tutorials. Like I see explainer yeah, videos. Yeah, explainer there. videos. There, there were what also. Else? Mm -hmm. mm, we didn't have tutorials, but we can add them. Of course. Mm -hmm. What else can be? Maybe how to guide. How to, yeah, that it was there also. Oh, we have three tutorials now. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, what else? Okay, let's start and, and, and then fill, by the way, all the columns. Because uh, I started speaking about it and then I jumped on the other issue. Uh, so the very important is thinking with that, having that approach in the agile planning that Every event deserves all the formats, all diversity of formats. Even, I don't know, very tragical ones or very serious ones, uh, be it political event, be it disaster or anything, anything. Because we can, in, in today, the terrible competition, we can attract audience only with faith. Only with that way having diversity of formats on every single topic. So after let's say selecting the topic for breaking news or whatever other we have here, be it public interest topic, be it current events, be it evergreen content, We can always select for all of them the diversity of formats. Just what we should consider first of all here is, I have written here, but we lost it as well, is that Agile approach has one very good, uh, how to say, rule. Uh, it's named work in progress limitation, which means that we always should look our resources and not to overload the staff, the team with the many work. Because we may will have, we may, we may, we may we want and have a desire having a I don't know, hundreds of formats on each topic and so on, but if stuff will be overloaded, then they will not be able even making more important things. And for that reason, sirs, you can see, for example, the radar. Radar for breaking news. We can see here uh, in the center is now, which is it should be published now, that it followed next and then later, it can be made later. So those uh, formats, let's say stickers in our case, can be distributed equally and logically to that radar, to that publishing radar. But let's first Review the formats if we have done it properly, and let's discuss if may will need it to move it to the other column. So, short articles are fitting to that column. Then we have white papers. Do you know what are the white papers? Have you worked with it? Anyone from of you? 
Mm, no, I, I don't know what's white, white papers. Yeah, it's a, let's say, a new trend. It's very interesting thing. I'll show you. And it fits under educational content. As far as you will have, uh, or I, I provide by end of the, our workshop, I will provide links from all the resources from it. So white papers are highly effective marketing tool, just when it used right. It can be used for explanations of, for example, for specific product or specific event, what we are covering. Here under the link, you can find all the rules, how it should be crafted, in which format, but I'll show you. Uh, Tachi, as I understand, it's an interactive thing, so you should write down something on this white paper. It I mean, can be uh... interactive, but it can be also like uh, static. Here are some examples I'll show you. Just I'm searching now for informative one, not only my, like marketing. But this is filled by uh, specific ways, uh, like comprehensive informational uh, product, let's say so. Which needs time, it's not urgent, let's say so, in our case, in our radar, I would not put it in the center, but maybe in some domain of, I don't know, later, next, something like that. Okay, I'll provide an example later. Then you have blog posts, tweets, okay, interviews, Facebook posts, long reads, expert opinion, and expert opinion, I think, can be also put at end. We have on video content and short interview. Short interview as well, we can have, yes, and we have, thank you, good work. Um, image based content. I'm not sure that we can have image-based content short articles. What do you think? There is no logic, I think. Can I do it? Mm. So if, uh, uh, it, uh, if we have the uh, opportunity to have this image-based image for the short articles, that would be perfect. But if not, it's okay to have them short and yeah, but can you explain how you see like article? I see like you know where is a text. Yeah, Maybe for example, like even a... even for yeah even for news with uh, the uh, with numbers, for example, we just can put the infographics there with uh, some chart, for example, uh, to uh, visu visualize this uh, information. So yes, uh, it could know... be. Yeah. Okay. In, in real um, life, it's hard to do everything for short life or short articles. I am understanding. Yes, but uh, what you mean? But look now for infographics, we have a separate sticker infographic, even illustration. Uh, but okay, let's leave it. Now, what I want to say: visual quotes as well as sketch as well as infographic, I think it should be in, but it also, we had a separate column for it, <laughs> visual content, but okay, let's have it here. Then interviews, illustrations, photo comparison. This is what I wanted to attract in your consideration as well. Uh, do you know what is it? Yes, we use, we use it very often. Mm -hmm. Good. And are you using that free platform for it? 
Yes. We are yes. using it. Great. Uh, this one. Yes, this one. So for others, I would say that it's a free platform for from nightclub. And here are many, not many, several different, very nice uh, formats or features that you can use. Uh, one of them is a picture composition. You can see it's a, for example, uh, photo for, from world's time uh, Berlin and a new one from the same perspective. It works when we have picture from the same perspective, like how it was and how it's now. I think here should be added platform. I'll show you. It's a nightclub, what I said. And here are several, which we will review, several very good. And what is most, most important in our case, uh, in time of financial needs, uh, free, free platforms for use. Uh, yeah, timeline as well is a same free platform and it's very good for providing um, events on time and you have such a ability for events which lasted for a long time. We can craft based on timing, such a timeline with a different multimedia materials, information. TikTok Reels, okay. On video also can be. Then we have long form videos. I don't know why it's here. Yeah. Instagram interviews, short form videos, vlogs, good expert opinion behind the cell footage. This is also is very good thing when even not only very, let's say, uh, high profile events, even when something happens always for, uh, for, for ordinary user, for ordinary audience, always is very interesting pictures behind the scenes, footage behind the scenes, even footage from newsroom work from TV studio, or I don't know, be it some, some news development. Uh, and then we have storytelling story. Sorry, scrolly telling. It's like that. Yeah, if it's scrolly telling, it's not a video content in this case. Yeah. It should be on interactive content as far yeah. as you are interacting. But you know what? I don't know why, but as my experience shows in data, um, it was very like trend issue about maybe three years ago when we started working on it in general it was very popular. But looks like, I don't know why, to be honest, I was very surprised, but it was not very attractive for audience. Uh, maybe because it, it's working only on uh, desktops version. Usually it works all, as well for mobile phones, but, but more effective is when you are scrolling it on web page. Maybe therefore, but usually it's time consuming and it, it, it doesn't bring many big traffic. Yeah, uh, in, in, in my experience, actually, we also practice to use this kind of content. 
and uh, uh, people don't understand how to use it properly. So they, some of them were excited with, with this new form, but uh, not uh, so, some of them even didn't understand what it was for. Oh, and, uh, yeah. As, yeah, and as uh, users uh, experience now is uh, vertical scrolling, uh, we are also uh, are following this trend because they like to scroll like you scroll TikTok or Facebook and that's natural for them. So the movement of the your finger is <laughs> always up. So yes, um, yeah, that's why we also uh, don't, don't use this form. Yes, but here also comes another suggestion from me and from my experience, let's say. So when we are doing something experimental, I don't know, something new, and uh, and we really like it because that something is really very good or interesting. Uh, even let's say picture comparison, be it or be it scrolling, I think we always should explain. It should be followed by explanation to user how they can use it, how can they enjoy it uh, otherwise it will be lost like was lost uh, scrolling content looks like okay then we have audio content and I just know if some of you are using but to me it's very interesting also um, I'm not meeting very often that the top shelf. Have you seen before some of them, one of them, any of them? You mean uh, when the article is well sound bite, yeah, when you can listen to an article? Yeah, one of the, not all the article. Here is, for example, one poet, one text, one small piece of text, let's say sentence, and the sound has only one sub sentence let's say so for example here is the text uh, thousands of egyptians packed into pahir square in central cairo friday and then then came text the crowd was as large and if you click here you can sound the crowd is this um, a real sorry is this a real um uh, sound of that particular story or did you just the uh, sound effects that uh, you used for the, uh, you know, for the journalists to make it more entertaining? I don't know. <laughs> is uh, like pretty no, this is this is real sound. Real sound. Okay. You just raised up a very, how to say, problematic issue. Uh, if someone asks me, I don't know. In uh, Sometimes someone can say you that, okay, why not? There is no problem. Just someone can put just voice of crowd, okay? Mm -hmm. But then someone can say you that it's not ethical because with that way you are making fake, okay? It's not so damageable, right. but still it's fake. Mm -hmm. It's not truth what you are pretending to explain to people. But, you know, it depends on the content. For example, if you are saying that, uh, I don't know, someone approached with a car and then you can insert and underline the uh, car's voice, then you can use a technical voice. Not like a... helicopter sound or crash yes. sound. There are some, yes. some effects. We use in the yes. radio a lot, uh, this kind yes. of effects. Yes, yes. It, it should other. not be like... Exactly. So... I think it's a still good future. You can use it on web page from here. It's sound site, but actually, I, I would like to share our experience with this sound site. Yes. yes. So uh, we uh, inserted, uh, integrated this uh, tool uh, to our, our one website. It was Queries by Litraji. And uh, we were you now putting the sound bite, a uh, short sound bite of the respondent we were talking with. So, uh, for example, there is a, an expert's opinion, and we have a small sound bite, and we uh, linked it to the text. So you can even good, hear yeah. what he is, yeah. uh, how he is uh, uh, speaking. 
and um, uh, it was very nice, <laughs> but uh, time consuming, of course, because you have to cut the sound bite, upload it to the website and then mm -hmm. link it to the text, but it was really nice. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, we tried to uh, have the sound for the whole articles and uh, we tried some AI tools for it uh, in Georgian. Uh, if you know, there was a company and here is the second one who is uh, produce, trying to produce good voices for it's Georgian. A I guess. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, it was too robotic and uh, uh, we refused on it. After this, we tried to uh, ask our journalists to have the sound bites for the whole articles. Uh, like uh, podcasts, maybe. Uh, and um, yeah, it was, uh, we, we just forced them, but uh, as usually they refused to do it in everyday life or so. Because it's time it's consuming. Time consuming. Yes. Time consuming. Yes. But for breaking news, so it's not necessary, but if you don't really have, if you have enough time to produce this type of story, it can be fun sometimes. It's just like a diverse type of content that will be interesting um, once in a while for the, you know, journalists to play around with, with this kind of features. I think sure. it's fun yeah but sure, not of course. Fast, yeah but not from just, breaking or yeah fast news yeah mm -hmm. just what i'm interested for Natalia, does it work uh does so we work? followed uh the uh, uh, interaction of people Brought some uh, traffic some interaction yes uh now we had the host jar to watch how they uh operate there and uh now so it's, it's about 50 percent of visitors were trying to have the sound so so click to this play button um and what that, that was a good result so not everybody is going to listen to it but mm -hmm. um it's like it's surprising for the uh yeah. your reader to listen to something when you're yeah, because here life. comes the one of the rules of AI approach, what I explained previously, it's work in progress limitation. When you really like something, uh, but it's very time consuming, so you always should keep balance with the profit of it, yes. like outcome, right. and time what you consumed, and resources, of course. But uh, it will be topic of our uh future workshop which is related with the multimedia production and so and i'll have much more talks about it because there are now many really many good possibilities with the uh, ai development and uh that you have a question sorry uh for this type of particular uh, feature can we use the links for example audio links taking from uh, other media like TV and do citation, you know, reference that this was taken from. So it's not going to be as time consuming because you already have pretty uh, ready links. So you don't have to edit it and you don't have to insert it. You just uh, place the link inside and just uh, uh, tell uh, the, you know, who is the reference, you know, where is it taken from? It depends on agreement. You should have agreement on the particular like, um media producer right but if you some have of them have faster, a, right? some, yeah like, it depends you... on their plot but you can do of course but it depends on their policy some of them even have a has a uh, policies like stated in their web pages mm -hmm. some of them agreed on it that if you will make preferences they agree having mm -hmm. uh you okay. their, their sound bit some of them not but you should check it will be good idea but what I want to say with the uh, developed LLM, large language model systems, uh, already even in Georgian, there are such possibility. You can train the AI and uh, make him to read articles. And it's really good. It's really will be really useful because you know, you not always are able to read articles sometimes and very often you prefer to listen it. So if each article will have such a function like just clicking on button and listening the article instead of reading it, of course it will be useful. And um, I'm still practicing it to be honest, but I think from the workshop what we have planned, I'll be ready for it. Because but the Georgian LLM... language is not very well spoken by AI, right? I mean, they they can translate uh, from no, Georgian. No, it depends but... on training, Tamara. 
With new kind of... technologies, that's what I am saying. With new uh, technologies, it's possible. It's available. Uh, okay. If basically. you can provide us this more information, it would be really helpful. Thank you. Yeah. As I said, I'm still experimenting because okay. it's very new. It's very new trend about, I don't know, maybe a month or two. But I'm sure I, I have it for okay. after, I don't know, several time, month, maybe or two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, there was a question in the chat box, if you noticed. Ah, sorry, I'm not following it because when I have shared screen, I cannot see it, yeah. to be honest, but I will check it now. I, I will read it. Which language this sound site supports? Uh, that you mean that particular service, like for of nightlife? That you showed sound site. I think it's only in English. No, no, uh, it's... it's no, no, it's it, this is a different kind of service. It's not reading, it's not AI based. You should upload voice, any preferred voice, what you should be sounded, what you want to be sounded, and it will be sounded. Mm. But uh, what kind of language? Which language? Only English, Dachi, or there are other? Whatever, whatever file will upload. It's not, uh, uh -huh, it's I not see. language based. That and previous question was if you could share the links for the audience. Uh, I, I suppose this. Uh, I, nice. I wrote it. Yeah, I, I know that. Oh, okay, of sorry. course. Uh, as I promised after our workshop, I'll share the separate dedicated file with all the resources, mm -hmm. all those platforms, okay, and so on. Okay. Okay, then we have audio content, and here are someone put the jinx. Okay, podcast, and then we have user generated content. Um, I think survey is not user generated content. Mostly, it's an interactive content because you are publishing the survey, and audience is interacting. It is not. You don't agree with me. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have reviews, customers, testimonies, community generated content, comments. Um, memes, I think, should go to the infotainment content. And that column is very important as well, user generated content. Just we should keep balance also, as in many other cases, because. Uh, unfortunately, taking in consideration the, I don't know, lack of human resources, financial resources, some media outlets prefer just telling the story only with those comments. Uh, take care from Facebook, which is not right. Agree with me. Then we have interactive content, which is also very important. And here we have interactive infographics, augmented reality polls. Okay, it works. And then we have infotainment content. Memes, just what does it mean all of this? Tutorial, explaining the videos how to guides. Yes, those last two contents, as I said, just everything of course should be balanced with our radar dashboard here, because you cannot put everything in the domain now, for example, because you, you have not resources, but also not everything, not every format is Mm, interesting in first place for our users, for our audience, but still we will speak about it while we will have a session for uh, coverage by layers, uh, which considers a social agile approach. Uh, the educational content can have a very good outcome as well. 
in every case, even during the big events. For example, when we are speaking for disaster, and it's a disaster, it's a, there are many victims, it's a tragedy, and we are all rushing, providing as more as possible information um, from the place, uh, like photos and so and so. Here, we'll work very effectively tutorials as well. For example, how to survive during some specific disaster. Because, of course, people will be interested on it. Uh, this is one. And second is, be that way, we will win time for our reporters who are working on places and they need time for, I don't know, shooting videos um, in such a difficult situations during a disaster they need uh, then our team need edited so and crafting such a tutorials are always easy we always can find on the internet we are research even uh free resources like that and it will have a two like description one is that it will have an outcome people is always interested on it and second is we 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 want time. We will need time for our team for producing materials related to the current event. Uh, that you can add something. Yes. Uh, yeah, sure. and one thing uh, we are love about educational content is that it's evergreen and uh, is uh, googled easily, and uh, you can use uh, to attract audience uh, to it uh, anytime. So even ten years old article or uh, topic is uh, still uh, interesting for the reader. Uh, and yes, oh, we right, yeah yes mm -hmm. yes it's work it work it's working well. Uh, and the yeah, someone has a question in answer articles. It is also it's working, and this is also will have a very good outcome in terms of big events. Let's say so, how to survive, how to do something, even there is a for example very cold weather, and uh, what we can say about it. Now, everyone will say that there is a big snow, there is a very cold and so, but having question and answer series like about how to run the engine while it is freezing, or I don't know how to survive very cold weather, or um, there can be many, many, many different like advices. And yeah. And when you have question and answer, it's working very well. It's working very well by my experience. I just wanted to add that we even have the separate websites for how-to articles. Uh, so it's called uh, in Georgia and Rogor uh, G. And uh, oh. uh, we have, uh, yeah, uh, we just, we bought this domain. It was, it was insisted for more than 10 years and uh, we edited about uh, three years ago to our uh, newsroom. Now we designed it, uh, and uh, we are writing how-to articles for the different topics, uh, what in all of kind of uh, uh, terms. So uh, it's uh, uh, have very good traffic for Google because people are searching how-to. It's a usual search uh, uh, combination, and. Uh, okay. I will advise having it bilingual, like having on English as well. It will need the investment, but I believe it will have profit as well. Thank you, Dachi. Good advice. And I have a question. Do you have a special uh, separate uh, web editors for each website, or they some of the editors they have uh, they manage several websites at once? Um, for each website, we have at least one special editor for it. Uh, but this special editor can do also the other work, not only for, for example, for Rogor G, we have only two, uh, one journalist and one editor who is working for it. 
Uh, but at the same time, uh, this editor is working uh, as a content uh, marketing manager. So she's participating also in some content mar marketing uh, uh, group uh, work. And uh, that's not on, on the, because for a robot, you need maybe five articles per day, and that's very easy uh, to produce it. How yes. about social media manager? Do you have separately for this particular website, social media manager who popularized yeah. this particular website? Yeah, in this case, as it's very small uh, website, we have uh, the editor is uh, uh, working on social media, but as I mentioned, the main traffic is for Google uh, in this case. Uh, but for other websites, so we have a group, as I mentioned on my <laughs> chart, that have a group of social media managers who are working for many pages. And mm -hmm. for some websites, editor are also, editors are also participating in the social media management uh, cre creation. But mm -hmm. this separate group uh, uh, is creating their own content, so the special content for uh, social media. Uh, mm -hmm. the, yeah, they, they have the uh, other work, not only sharing the links, but also creating the special content. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Thank you. Okay, then it will be uh, mostly for our tomorrow's work. I like modeling, uh, covering the new system, modeling uh, work of uh, agile integrated newsroom uh, because I should leave a bit earlier today. Uh, just what I want to say, here we have the radars, I said, and while we choosing the topic for coverage in the specific day, we are writing here that topic and then we are selecting like formats from here. For example, we have, I don't know, some breaking news event. What should be done? The editorial team should decide what, what should be done in first place. Here you can see on the other, I have made it like a on center, there are cycles. It's a, what should be published on fourth place, like right now. For example, we are taking short articles. And of course, as I said, it's a, we should consider that work in progress limitation, what can be done right now. Not only what we want to done, what we can, what resources do we can. And most easy is having short article on it. And then, for example, the blog post. Blog is not so urgent, but still it's interesting. Then we can put it on, oops, sorry, on the later domain, the latest circle. And sorry, that article then, then that cycles are divided by platforms. You can see like a web page, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. And we will assign the specific person or team for that assignment. Like, for example, can be a reporter. If it's multimedia reporter now, can craft uh, himself like a text with a photo, okay? But if it is related with the infographic or anything else, they can be uh, involved graphical designer and reporter. So we are putting those things and we are assigning specific persons or specific teams uh, with a specific timelines or deadlines. For it, we can use as I show it like, uh, I don't know, one of those, maybe even to do most easy or Trello most sophisticated. or even Monday. The most important thing here is consider that balance, as I said, those all those indexes, which is related with the topics, locations, and platforms, of course. But 
look now, it does not mean that, for example, blog post regarding the that current breaking news, we don't need it today, but it does not mean that we will thinking about it after one month or two weeks. After two weeks, the blog post should be ready. And for that, we should give assignment right now, right today, but just put it on the later cycle. Like here. And I see people have already started working on it. And by end of the day, so-called uh, under the sprint ret retrospective, the team will be reviewing the day, how it done, what was done, what was should be considered, lessons learned, and so on. Good, I see we have good success on distributing of formats. Tamara, you can even like copy paste the behind the scene footage and put it in several platforms. Of course, it will be converted properly for a, a specific platform, but we can publish it on I don't know, Instagram, you can publish it on Facebook. Just like, a, just like a main golden rule is that every content published outside of our webpage should be followed by link to our webpage. Even link it with a, I don't know, some relevant category, even link it some relevant material, but always put in case of, for example, Facebook in description of the poster, put the link for the web page. Otherwise we will be dependent on social media platforms. So you can craft even on Miro and copy that dashboard what I have created and using your daily work. And it's not only like big newsrooms like a bit or Fortuna Holding or Palitramedi, even in a work for, I don't know, investigative journalism groups or even small, relatively small newsrooms uh because in that case scale will, uh, scale will, will be uh, smaller of course but the tool like a tool will be very useful i believe okay It's time to finish for today. 
just what I want to ask by the end of our today's session is that uh, just please tell me what you're interested for for tomorrow's session in addition to what I'm planning to speak with you uh, because it's a workshop for agile approach and I'm recognizing that I also should be agile. So just or you want to just write on the chat or tell me verbally if you are interested for any any particular specific issue related to the newsroom management. No, nothing. Uh, that should, I, I will say a couple of words. So um, as you know, during the day, uh, the uh, tasks are changing uh, very actively and it's very hard to follow the daily plan. So you should, as you mentioned, the stand-up meetings and uh, sometimes you're planning the absolutely other stories and uh, the result at the end of the day is absolutely uh, different. Uh, so what would be your advice how to follow this story and uh, how to um, agile this process and not to uh, be uh, disattracted from from these main stories, for example? Okay, I'll consider I'll have answer on it because this is one of the main let's say profits of a jelly approach in newsroom plan yes so uh it's uh, for a uh, tech team for example there is not like the uh, unusual processes so you do what you have planned during the day and you have the scope for it uh but for news it's like the uh, you are in, <laughs> in the, the disaster and you should change everything uh and sometimes you realize that uh, uh, the the plan uh, even for the month is not done because of this uh, uh, un uh, unexpected uh, things. Yes, there is a solution clearly for it. You just will need to relocate, having ready relocating the team, and uh, I'll provide the the how to say proper planning or schematic for it, how it can be done. Like how I see and what experiences shows us. Practice. Yes, and uh, in case of management, I think the main problem we have is uh, forcing people, not editors, but mainly journalists to force them to use new, these new tools for it. For example, as I mentioned, this uh, audio thing, and we experimenting in a lot of different direction. But as we uh, release our force, as, as soon as we don't pay attention and don't force them to do it in everyday life, you just uh, lose this uh, experience. So they're just stopping to do it. Now, and you need the uh, attention uh, and you need to control uh, every time to and to force them to work in this innovation way. If there is any key and or advice for it, I also will be happy to hear. Yeah, it's a... I agree. <laughs> it's a paramount problem with managing uh, stuff and... Uh, uh, here also are several solutions. Of course, there are there is no uh, prescripted solution for everything, uh, but here also are some some team building related solutions. Let's say so. Usually, I used to. Uh, let's say implement the method of of balanced fines and awards in that case uh, just it should be managed by very, very carefully uh, because both directions can be understood 
wrongly. Uh, but it works. Uh, for me, the best price for your work is to see the good quality content, for example, or uh, uh, yeah, but uh, sometimes it's not as motivating for them. Just of time course, consuming. Of yes. course, of course. Uh, I just wanted to note not to forget because uh, I have that. Uh, uh, subsessions about it. I'm comparing very often work of newsrooms reporters work of work of to the firefighter because it's a daily routine. It's very hard, you know. And when when person is I don't know running from from one event to the other and uh, have to make uh, many multitasking things, it's very difficult to hanging on them another obligation just on name of quality content or just on name of, I don't know something. And therefore, it's a, just let's compare with the firefighter. Firefighters can have very big profits how to say, very big uh, um, privileges related with the insurance, related with the health care, with the, I don't know, awards, uh, additional days, additional uh, holidays, shifts, and so and so. Uh, and what do you think, why? Why someone not to say them that you are saving people's life, it's so good. You don't need any additional, I don't know, privileges or um, additional holidays or weekends or anything, I don't know. There are many, many different things. We will talk about it. Because you, you know you always should wait on those two things. Uh, because everything has its own price. If you need something, but you should pay more than it's worth. This is the main point here. Okay, let's finish. Looks like you have not another or you can still write to me here on the chat because we will work still on the same with the same link, hopefully tomorrow. See you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dachi. Thank you very interesting. much. Thank you, Dachi, for the, uh, and uh, we'll meet you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you. Take care. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Okay. Bye, -bye. Bye. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Great, great. 
So we can start because 22 persons already here. Okay, now I hope you're okay. Can you see my screen, hopefully? Yes, we can. Great. And also I shared the link in any case in the group chat. We will need it some activities. Okay, let's start. Hello everyone. Again, welcome back to the second day of our workshop, exploring the core principles of Agile specifically tailored to the context of newsroom and journalism. Today we will speak about team building culture in Agile, Convergent newsrooms and discussing or addressing challenges. We'll create and test the managerial shapes of newsroom production process, redistribute duties, and plan the workflow. Now, for beginning, let's refresh briefly what we discussed yesterday about the agile concept. The agile concept was born in software development field and later successfully implemented in other fields as well. We agree that being agile in the newsroom means considering audience interests, fostering teamwork across different production states, and continuously improving our content. We concluded three main pillars of the concept. You can see in the screen, this is iterative approach. Agile's iterative nature aligns well with dynamic nature of news production, allowing for rapid adaptation to breaking news and shifting priorities. Then comes cross-functional teams. Agile encourages collaboration across departments and disciplines, fostering more integrated approach to storytelling and content creation. And of course, continuous improvement by embracing feedback and regularly reassessing priorities. In that way, newsrooms can refine their processes and deliver more impactful journalism to their audience. Now, as for, let's say just briefly, the very basic uh, Scrum workflow or the schematic, what we have, uh, we have the in general agile concept and one of his most popular frameworks, Scrum, what you can see on the screen, is a um, client-centric. In our case, we transformed it to audience. Here one. Uh, then in the Scrum framework, or Scrum framework as usually, we have a product owner who oversees all the processes and creates the product backlog. In our case, we transformed it to assignment editor because in newsroom, this is the central figure and supervisor of processes. Then we have product backlog, which is created 
together with the team by supervising of assignment editor and with a close interaction with the customer. And in our case, product backlog will be created about each topic which should be covered, considering interests of audience and with the like, involvement of editorial team. Then the product backlog, usually as it happens in software development field, is breakdown or I don't know, drill down, whatever you can say, by small increments. In our case, the topic uh, should be break down in the different formats. We worked on it yesterday. Like those are our formats. And with the active involvement still of editorial team and assignment editor, uh, based on that sprint planning meeting is created sprint backlog, which is let's say manual uh, agreement how to be how should be created each increment in our case each product of the topic about it around the topic. And then comes sprint sessions. Those sessions are creating sessions in our case and. Such sessions, such sprint sessions can be several during the day, as far as about one topic can be created, uh, different um, materials or products on different formats. And each sprint session, when the team, editorial team is finishing uh, the material is reviewed by assignment editor and himself the team looking if everything is ready and if material can be published. All the process of production is overseen in case of Scrum framework in uh, software development is overseen, supervised by Scrum Master. In our case, we transformed it to production manager who is looking on the production line if everything is right keeps contact between different departments, different uh, members of the production editorial team and so on. And we see also one hour daily scrums, which means that team, uh, depending on their needs and considerations, can conduct uh, like 15, I don't know, 10, 20 minute stand up meetings regarding ongoing processes, if anything has been changed, if, if new topic has been arrived on the media field, if they need to change anything and so on. And they come already made product increment. In our case, it can be multimedia story, short video, podcast, anything, what we crafted, created by the sprint team. Uh, and everything is finished with a sprint retrospective, which is also a very important part because during the retrospective, team is reviewing their successes and challenges, what they had, what can be uh, resolved for, for the next time, what should be considered for the next day, uh, what they did, what they did not, and so on. So this is all the process. Uh, what we have and what we will today process under the Milsun production uh, workflow. We will return to the topic on our next session. But before that, let's talk about best practices for team building culture in Agile Newsroom. As far as Team building together with production planning and right workflow are the main components of Agile News. I spoke about it yesterday as well. The, to me, Newsroom Reporter is like a firefighter or I don't know, risky unit member. As far as they work under terrible daily pressure. 
in rapidly changing environment. They should hear many things simultaneously, be in good shape, pay attention to the equipment, the battery, camera, and so on. Don't forget to ask questions, any specific issues, maintain ethics and balance, and what's important is stand pressure and oppression in case of undemocratic alignment. So multimedia reporter needs the same attention and privilege for management like in case of other professions related to the risk and hard workload. Of course, considering the different situation of the media environment in many places of the world uh, and problems, financial difficulties, we cannot speak that uh, Thing what I said considers necessarily like giving uh, the highest salaries or I don't know giving awards, but but still there are many many different things what we can consider. And here comes our survey. You can see here probably. Have you joined our workspace okay. already? I can't hear you, I'm afraid. But you, what was the question I missed it, sorry. So here, can you hear me? Yes, sure. Oh, oh yes, great. So here we have a, uh, are you joining the board? Yes. I mean Miro's board. Okay, yes. so we have here a small survey, factors in newsroom. You can zoom in if you cannot read the notes, stickers. And what we are what we should do is that we can we should choose those issues. Just one minute. And put them in the desired jar like that. What do you think is needed? Or what do you think we don't need? I mean, in the newsroom, of course. Actually, I will wait for other participants because it seems I'm alone on this slide. Okay. <laughs> Please tell me if you need some help from my side or if you are unable to join the board. But I see Tamara joining it now, and that as well.
I think we're finished, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's see what we don't need. Uh, only one thing I disagree, that's uh, emotions, because I think that uh, positive emotions are very important during the work. Uh, yes, but for that issue, I think we have... Happiness. Yeah, yeah I moved. Uh, I was the one who moved. Uh, we don't need emotions, uh, but I moved happiness uh, into what we need. Ah, uh, there was a happy. Oh, there, okay, I didn't notice it. Okay. So I agree. I agree with you. Let's put back emotions because because uh, okay, I I'm understanding what you mean, Nata. But uh, I think in in our case, in, in editorial work, emotions is not the best friend for reporter or even editor, or even on the, in front of so many disinformations and misinformation, even for a reader. Uh, emotions can be uh, a worst enemy, I would say, because you agree with me, any material, any editorial work should be done without emotions only based on facts, even uh, even sometimes the situation, the situation, how to say, gives us that, makes that emotional background. Well-being, I like that word. Okay, let's speak about burnout because I believe this is the, it happens very often, this is the biggest problem for newsrooms, specifically for integrated agile newsrooms, because reporters are working sometimes, I just know, in 24 hours, <clears throat> and this is a real issue. And here I think the management should play a key role or even editor, but uh, not a Tamara, what do you think? I'm afraid even editors are overloaded by the work sometimes. So very much so. Yes, I think so. It's very, very, um, you know, uh, daunting for the, you know, because you have to be 24 hours, uh, you know, uh, know what's going on really in the world. So, um, yeah, it's an issue with the newsroom, uh, especially for the chief editors um, being online 24 hours. But actually, they, they we try to now have shifts uh, and so they don't work as, uh, you know, uh, I mean, we, we have arranged it. So now it's... Um, um, they are pretty much more relieved. They were, it was time that was a bit much stressful before, but now we have night shifts. So uh, it makes the li their life more easy now. So we are managing this issue right now. Ah, it's good. It's good. What about the Palitra media? Or yes, uh, that she so um, during the last so maybe five or five or six years, uh, we changed a lot uh, in this culture, so we uh, cut the uh, working hours to the standard eight hours per day, not more, uh, because the real burnout was uh, the problem for a lot of editors and uh, they were not as effective as they could be. So the level of creativity is decreasing when you're working so hard. So. Uh, we have this standard now if the, there is nothing if there is something happening very crucial in the uh, country of course we can work 24 hours per day but 
for now, all of them have the standard working hours. Uh, and uh, uh, my evaluation is that uh, this is much um, effective than to, uh, to work with them with burnout. Mm -hmm. The only person who can work more than eight hours, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's not right. Because yeah. uh, I think editor should be the first who senior management person should be the fourth and main person who will be who should be able to recognize signs of overwork uh, because you know sometimes we are so busy with, with with our daily routine in newsroom that we aren't recognizing uh the condition of of employees even themselves reporters sometimes are not recognizing and it can be then followed with very serious problems. I mean, even mental, psychological problems, not yes. to say anything about. But that I think uh, based on my experience, uh, there are certain people who are, you know, in general, very, uh, you know, energetic. Like as Natalia said that she likes to work like 24 hours that I am also the same type of person who is working constantly. Like uh, I enjoy actual working. It's uh, like part of my life. Like I feel like they're responsible for many, many different activities, including my family. So, and there are people in my team also very, very energetic that like, like it's their part of their life, you know, but there are people who cannot be part of the newsroom, even though they're maybe intelligent, competent, they cannot work as many hours and they need uh, frequent breaks and uh, like uh, their time on their own. So it's also about the personality I think, uh, you know, uh, it's their uh, way of living. It's not only uh, just, you know, the time uh, schedule, it's just something that comes from inside. Uh, that's um, what experience I have managing, you know, for many years um, in my company. Yes, Tamara, but sci scientifically, it's proved yeah. that uh, everybody will have the burnout, even if I you know, like what you're doing. Then, yeah. Yes, you'll yeah, have I burnout know. and you'll be fed up with this uh, work. So I know, no. No, but there are people, I mean, who enjoy working, they're like workaholics. And even though I tell them not to do, they just do it. You know, it's nothing that it's not that uh, I initiate and I like um, tell them yes. what to do. There are people like that, like some of them, not everybody, but I agree with you. Everybody needs a break, but depends, you know, um, some people are more energetic than the other people. Some people fit very well in the newsroom. Some people just never can work on in the newsroom, like in fast, uh, when there's a fast things going and you have to do, do a breaking news. But there are people who just can work on like a regular news that are not very urgent. And it's okay, you know, we have this kind of uh, people, journalists who work for deep news, for example, and they don't have to search like the news, very fast, uh, fast news that are required for the uh, news uh, room. So, and we try to, um, you know, manage uh, them. We um, appreciate all this, uh, their um, uh, uh, talents, what they have. So, uh, and uh, try to allocate certain jobs depending on their skills and depending on their like qualities, you know what I mean? So, yeah, we don't exclude uh, those who are not fast in working and need more breaks. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm understanding what you mean, Tamara, but also I cannot come to agree on Nata's remark. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what's happening? Um, usually, uh, it can be unbelievable, but it's a fact. Usually, the problem of burnout happens with the persons who likes who are workaholics and who cannot understand that they are tired yeah and it's yeah you're, and it's i true. had practice yeah i had practice mm -hmm. uh, during the previous program for example i worked with the regional media and i had the opportunity to visit many many media outlets and first thing what i always did was that when I saw people are working until I just know 11 o'clock or evening or even uh, more late evening, I always requested from management that do shifts, make shifts. And uh, like you said now, they always are saying that, you know, they like working. They are coming late and then they are going because of that late and um, 
My answer here is not. Here should be kind of discipline, uh, kind of shift works, uh, you know, because when burnout happens, you are not understanding when you are workable, when you are working a lot, even when you like, when you are energetic. So it's a big problem. What about other colleagues about the tissue? Okay, go to the company reputation that I want to speak about. I had especially uh, that sticker here because creating sense of now without any question, uh, media outlet should have the reputation, uh, but it should be always underlined by the management. In the team should be sense of high reputation because um, when journalists are proud of the company, of their organization, uh, then, then they are more motivated. They are making their job more, more, more high quality, I would say. Uh, that's, that's a real truth because uh, in general, even when we're looking for a new personnel, uh, the brand and reputation of the brand uh, uh, is uh, the much important during this process. So, for example, when I have the vacancy from Interpress News from the agency, which have this high reputation, uh, I have always much more uh, uh resumes than for even small brand which not which don't have this kind of reputation so um yes i think that uh you need a lot of time and effort uh, to have uh this table and uh, um the reputation of the, the when people uh when when they hear your uh, name uh, they can imagine who you are, and that's very important. And uh, uh, they respect you, and they trust you, and the feeling is amazingly good. Yes, that's that's really great sense. And another issue what I wanted to underline, I think, also is very important in team building. And uh, he also, I remember, spoke about it yesterday when uh, you said that you wanted to implement say so innovation when journalists are reading their articles and uh, the voice is applauded to together with the yes. published together with the material and you said that after some period of time journalists refused uh, to to do so um, and you know, this is only not only related with the uh, with the time, for example, uh, or with the occupation of of journals that they have no time for it. Uh, I think, for of all, this is because experience what I have is specifically with the journalists outside of TV field. Uh, you know. Because we know that um, online media journalism is mostly completed by writer journalists, by former writer journalists who then became transferred to the multimedia ones. And um, many of them uh, has a complex of, I would say, complex of vocabulary. They are believing that uh, uh, their, their promotion is not so good as it should be. Uh, then they are listening, uh, their recordings, and so and so. Um, therefore, I think it's worth to try providing, for example, some series of training related with that uh, articulation, let's say, uh, providing some materials because articulation is really a problem, but it can be easily solved by exercises, by regularly, regularly uh, 
making those exercises. And then I believe they will have even biggest motivation because you know everyone wants to be like famous, everyone wants to be heard and so and so. Just, just I think you should make more activities related, making them uh, known to the wider audience. Like put the portfolio on the web page uh, alongside of their articles, who is reading. Um, even there can be made some, you can give them some possibilities of interpretation you know, like uh, making vlog, which means that uh, not vlog, just voice podcast about how they, what problem did they have had while working on that material and so and so. Uh, and in general, um, I think if you create and cultivate the atmosphere of PR and development among newsroom employers, for example, you can conduct periodic surveys to understand their skills improvement aspirations and learning interests. Uh, and you know now, for example, in Georgia, there are many organizations who provide such a, a skills. Are uh, it, it happens by donor organizations, which don't need financial investments from your side, but there are also commercial organizations. And you can make with them advertisement barter or barter replacement, advertisement replacement, for example, product replacement, I wanted to say. And in that way, fostering culture of continuous development, let's say so. And uh, then I believe they will be much more motivated than they are now. Thank you, Tachi, for the good advice. Yeah, I but but here, well, what I wanted to ask to you, to you, to other colleagues as well. Then here comes, you know, the problem, what is related with the um, financial types of 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 independent commercial media organizations, because now, like uh, Palitra Media as well as Fortuna Holding are fully commercial organizations. But we know that in, in media environment, in Georgia, for example, there are also media organizations with political agenda and political funding as well. And they can pay much more uh, salaries than you can do that. And uh, when I was in media industry, for example, I had very often such a problem, specifically when we started working on uh, creating um, convergent newsroom and with all those agile approaches and uh, I have made many big efforts like for transforming journalists to multimedia ones, teaching them different kinds of skills and one day I face the fact that I don't know from five, five two or three journalists just left the newsroom and they moved to the TV station with the higher salaries. So here, it, this is continuous, what I said that about creating that atmosphere of care and development, but how do you think we can deal with that problem when we are teaching them, we are investing because, because it needs uh, big efforts as well. It's not easy, of course, specifically still, uh, uh, I'm saying about commercial media outlets who who has not so big uh, possibilities of, of spending and in, in investment, and then they are leaving. So what do is it still a problem? Yes, yeah, sure, Dachi. Now that's a problem, but we uh, found the solution for it for that. Uh, so uh, we have like the core of uh, our main persons, uh, especially mostly editors and lead journalists. Uh, 
who have the same values which we have in the organization and they even uh, don't think to uh, join any political media even for big money so they understand that they could be paid more in, in uh, uh, other organization uh, but uh, they share our values and stay with us and that's very important when you have this core uh, team uh, and um, they also understand so that mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. yeah, they sorry, also sorry, understand sorry. that uh, uh, this is very uh, th th this is not for a long time to work uh, even maybe you will have a twice bigger salary in the other organization uh, but it will uh, be uh, it will end <laughs> uh, very soon because you know that with this unstable uh, situation political situation it's very changeable in the media industry uh, so we are here to have a stable work and uh, uh, to have a strong values and uh, to have independence, which is super important for us. Mm -hmm. uh, and we also have a lot of new journalists uh, who are uh, moving very fast. But for this, so we have like the structure. So we have uh, interns uh, during the whole year and we work with them. Um, and so I think that sometimes it's even positive when someone is leaving uh, your uh, organization because you're finding new talents, new ideas, especially nowadays when you need uh, skilled young people in the group. Uh, sometimes I'm dreaming <laughs> to uh, to have some changes. Um, mm -hmm. I don't want, yeah, I, I don't want to fire them, I mean, <laughs> persons, but sometimes yeah. when you work here for maybe five or six years uh, it's become very stable and you don't have an enthusiasm to work on yourself or grow and uh, this is uh, harmful for the organization also so so you uh, maybe you don't spoil anything but you you, you are not as effect effective as a new uh, employee could be so i i look at it a little bit in a positive way um and i think that it's very very natural what about but changing I positions not uh in such situations yes, yes. so uh, in our case so we start from even some interns are editors now uh, and uh, people who are active who are looking for innovations who are working on themselves so they are always promoted and we're really proud of it yeah mm -hmm. i think uh, i agree absolutely with natalia what she just mentioned um the same thing with our company that what the journalists are telling us um, is that um, they like that it's very comforting it's comforting for uh for them to work in a company that has, is fully independent that is not dependent on any political parties and this is what makes them happy because they don't have pressure from the editors to work on certain news you know so this is uh our the major you know our benefit Benefit of working in our company and um, working for television, you know, of course, um, um, it's a big issue. I mean, the co competition with the television is a big issue, not only for Georgian, but in general in the world, because a lot of, um, you know, of course, um, uh, um, people, uh, they enjoy working because in TV, because they became popular, they can be, uh, everybody can recognize them, but, you know, TV has a, a, a lot of benefits, of course, but is but it's also a very hard working television it's a, it's an absolutely different uh a tempo for them um so um this is a whereas in the radio it's not as uh, stressing work in a radio station and uh, and the website uh, compared to television that's what uh, journalists uh, tell us so this uh, a priority for our company uh, but uh, in regards to what you just asked, Dachi, unfortunately, we don't have this kind of uh, stairs like in a, in a case with a is a um, uh, Palitra Holding uh, has because they have different websites, different. It's a big, huge company. We just yeah. we don't have this kind of opportunity to move uh, uh, journalists around and promote them. You know, uh, uh, unfortunately, what what we do is we do how we motivate them. We motivate them by allocating the program like rubrics they can work like a program they can work uh for a, a additional like financial benefit you know so but uh moving in a hierarchy it's not unfortunately a possibility in our company 
it don't happen so so often. It doesn't it happen that be. often because yeah, it doesn't happen that often. But we promote them, we, we offer them other financial benefits, and also uh, creative. They can also work uh, if they enjoy working with the, uh, certain programs. We also motivate them if it's a part of their interest. So there are uh, journalists who enjoy doing extra work for additional benefits, but there are also journalists who don't like work and do extra work uh, and they're just happy what they are doing. And that's it, you know. Unfortunately, are there are people who would like to grow more and there are people who don't like to grow more. Uh, and um, this is an issue. And it's not only in our company, it's everywhere. There are people who just are there in their like a comfort zone and they want, don't, don't go out, but they do well their work and they do, don't want to explore other possibilities. But there are people who do enjoy and exploring other possibilities, you know, and so it's a um, personal choice. Yeah, yeah, looks like uh, there are some certain type of people who like stability i don't know yeah comfort zone <laughs> being, uh, yes exactly exactly yeah. Mm -hmm. and yeah I, i'm reading now but also is agreed with us that motivation can be main solution in that situation but i had also such an idea and i'm interested what do you think about it like still i mind when the company, I mean, media company, is investing a lot in um, in learning, uh, trainings, like uh, yeah, we do all the time. Skills. Yeah. And what if those investments will be reflected in the contract? What is related with the professional development of the of the person, and like a, how to say, like a, having a condition in the contract that the company will spend on your professional development, X, Y, Z, I don't know, some amount. And in case, if you leave the company, I don't know, for closes three years, two years, then you will be, you will have that, you will be obligatory to pay back those investments. Just idea, what do you think about it? Batching. Uh, we, also, <laughs> we also had this model uh, maybe uh, four or five years ago. Uh, and we put it on contract at, you know, that if you will have some kind of training, it will be evaluated and uh, um, it will have its price. And if you will leave the company, you will have to pay, uh, leave the company during a year you uh, will uh, pay uh, some amount or some percentage of this uh, price. Uh, but um, we had, for example, this kind of cases. So we put it in and uh, sometimes that worked. But um, for example, I just uh, mentioned one uh, example. Uh, there was a journalist who we sent to the uh, U.S. Embassy training to the U.S. So she was there in San Francisco for two weeks working um, with uh, professionals. And then she came back. Uh, she had a good offer and she decided to leave. So we had this uh, point on, in the contract. Uh, and uh, I explained to her that uh, that wasn't, uh, at first, that was not fair at all because it was two weeks that she uh, came back from mm -hmm. the U.S., uh, and uh, uh, beside this, I mentioned this point in contract. So she agreed and worked uh, for a while, but her work was so passive. Exactly. She exactly. didn't want to do anything. So she was forced to, and she hates everybody. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and her work yeah. also. So I called her and tell that, yes, you can leave. Uh, so exactly. it wasn't, yeah, it didn't work. I, so. yeah, it doesn't work at all, you know, and then we could never ever um, try to make this kind of contracts because we don't want people be forced to work with us. If they want to leave, they can never be productive in the future. So. Uh, we were, of course, HR always advised us and uh, uh, lawyers advised us, you know, in our team to, you know, do this kind of contracts, but we, we are not, because it's actually, it's, it's, it does opposite 
it does opposite. Mm -hmm. You know, people want to leave because uh, when they feel they are they are uh, you know chained with this kind of contracts, they don't appreciate working in this company. So we never have this kind of contracts. Uh, so we are more loyal to our employees in this way. So they're if they want to leave, they are just free to leave. Just at least they should have at least one month notice uh, uh, prior they want to leave. So we get uh, we can have enough time to find the replacement. So. Yeah, looks like it's a difficult, very difficult. I don't know, maybe it's a Georgian culture. I don't know. It's interesting what other people can say, you know, other colleagues, uh, because uh, it's very interesting to hear uh, other journalists or other you know, participants' point of view. I would really appreciate if uh, anybody can comment on this kind of um, problems. <laughs> it's how it managed. In this is how we learn from each other, because if we share our experience, that's how we learn, because we have a quite a long experience working in this field, in the management. And so I think everybody's idea are welcome and I would really want to ask everybody to be more active uh, in this uh, training, not just us speaking. <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. I would like to uh, comment something on behalf of uh, Latvia Smedi from Latvia. You. A similar uh, approach, uh, like not the approach, but the situation is like if somebody wants to leave, uh, he's free to leave the company, right? Uh, one month notice, it's all the same as in Georgia. Uh, but uh, the biggest problem is uh, searching for talent because it's not easy to attract um, journalists, attract editors with uh, like with with proven. Uh, experience in the field and Latvia is a small country and we are uh, writing and producing our content in Latvian only and it's very difficult to to search for uh, for a professional uh, that is able to you know work uh, let's say flexible or, or or somehow like this and uh, we are very uh, limited in terms of professionals uh, as, as I said, Latvia is a small country and not a lot of media uh, there, maybe compared to, to, to larger or English speaking, Russian speaking uh, media uh, and countries. So um, it's not that easy. And of course, another issue is uh, having enough resources to search for such people, which mm -hmm. means uh human resources uh and uh, for instance in our case uh we don't have a specific a person or even specific department uh as hr these tasks are distributed uh in between different um different departments of the company so this is always uh, challenging yeah same same for us Beata. thank you very much for your comment so are you online media only or you have another platforms as well, Dieta? Uh, no, we are, uh, the priority is uh, printed media. We have uh, daily newspapers. So uh, really we are trying hard because uh, each day we have to issue an, uh, a newspaper. Also we have thematic journals and uh, and also publishing online uh, which means the same content uh rebuilding redoing but uh basically that's uh, that's uh, the same um newsroom uh, so, so you have uh, not like dedicated or even integrated production for for online content just you are publishing what you have on print yes basically kind of. Yes, we we have uh, editors uh, working for for this online media, uh, but it's not a separate uh, like large production department. So it's like a convergent, yeah. This is like you were sorry. Uh, you are working like a convergent newsroom. So you produce uh, media content for print as well as for online. Same team is working uh, in both directions, correct? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. But you are not producing like different content from what you have on print. Mm, no, not really. Only the multimedia, for instance, uh, we have projects where we develop podcasts, uh, we develop uh, videos. So it uh, naturally goes to 
online and we share it uh, in social media and, and so on. Uh, but uh, our primary uh, activity is uh, written media printed. Mm -hmm. mm. Sounds very interesting because on in the background when on in all the world I I think decreasing like spreading of print media and decreasing of incomes. How we are dealing with that problem? Why are not thinking about further improvement of of online? Well, that's uh, that's very hard issue to talk about because we all know that uh, printed media are decreasing, uh, and uh, this online activities and on projects. Uh, this is basically the way for us to remain, uh, to develop, to transform, and uh, we are really changing uh, last uh, last years, uh, especially in, in terms of of all that pandemic situation. So we are converting everything to online, uh, but mm -hmm. still remaining our uh, printed media. Yeah, and okay. what is the share of your income from the print media and online? Is it like a big proportion comes from for print media? The income? Uh, yes, actually, yes, uh, because it's still uh, connected to advertising. Uh-huh. I can't tell you the exact share, but uh, it's still about advertising. And as our new platform, um, which was launched actually only was last year, uh, we are not that um, mar marketed yet, or how to say that. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, so we are on the way to to, to changing and transforming. Okay. That. Okay. Understand. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And our next session will be exactly dedicated to the transformation on online production and its improvement. Just I suggest to make a five minute break just for refresh. And yes, then let's thank continue. You. Let's thank continue. You. Sure. Okay. 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 In five minutes. Okay. Yes.
Nice to have a good deal. Okay, let me know. Let me let me get plumbers. <laughs> uh, plum. Sorry. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Bye. Enjoy. Do I want to occupy her? I will occupy her with myself. I think okay, we can start. Continue. Yes, we can start, I think. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Great. So let's start crafting the newsroom management shape for the workflow according to the agile rules. And here I need your help, your engagement. I selected some positions from our yesterday's survey. And let's review them position by position. But before that, once again, we have the agile framework here. And in the normal situation, I mean normal situation for software development sprint lasts about month or minimum four weeks. In our case, four, three weeks. In our case, it's a daily workflow in case of newsroom. And like sprint sessions are lasting maybe two hours dependent on producing the product. So which means that the product backlog, which is what I said, manual in case of newsroom production, manual for topic, for covering the topic, is starting, is processing daily. It's starting the morning. And here we have the team for creating uh, let's say topic backlog in case of newsroom. So I selected according to our yesterday survey, some positions and I don't know would be useful your suggestion here. I divided it in two groups. The first group is working on the general backlog. For example, the team is selecting the topic which would be covered during the day. Uh, and the backlog provides the information about the topic in general, uh, like in which format should be covered, how those formats would be distributed between the editorial production team, uh, also timing for publishing and so on. Uh, and I divided that group, I selected just, um, let's say, I don't know, mid-level uh, management group, managing management positions for that main uh, backlog meeting. And uh, here we have assignment editor, whoever sees news content, general news flow of and work of newsroom, makes editorial decisions and guiding news coverage. Then we have output editor and I think output editor can be uh, right solution or decision instead of having like web editor, social media manager and so because output editor will overseeing the final output of content which will be produced across various platforms, across all platforms, including social media. So that person is responsible just for reviewing the final product which we receive and publish it in the proper way on all those platforms. And when we are speaking about the proper way on publishing with the proper way with the various platforms, I mean our work, what we done yesterday, according to those radars. Just imagine that the output editor is shared with the assignment editor, the radar, and 
according to the timing. Uh, on the other now is indicated like now, next, later, it's a general timing, let's say so, what is urgent, what can be published uh, in next line, next order, and what is planned for later. And later means here, not the same day, but I don't know, end of the week, two weeks, it depends what kind of format of the specific uh, topic will be selected. Uh, so the first materials for first urgency, we, 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 we see here in the first cycle. Let's go back to the, to our editorial team. Okay. Uh, then we have production manager who oversees the production processes and ensures timely delivery of news content. Actually, production manager is overseeing, supervising uh, production team, what we have on the right side here, who is looking the specific sprint log. That one, what you can see here. And that specific sprint log is reflecting like specific piece of the content which would be prepared under the topic backlog. backlog. Uh, still taking, for example, if we have some uh, breaking news, uh, I don't know what we had uh, like worldwide, the destroying of Baltimore Bridge. In that case, the first group is deciding in which formats in, in which line will be, in which order will be uh, covered the news. And the production team is working on it by the line. Of course, it means that like those sprint logs will not be only one. But several, like several formats, which will need different uh, amount of effort, time, resources, and so on. And then we have future features editor. Features editor many future stories and special content, which will be like say uh, figured out for the specific topic. It can be investigative journalism piece, it can be scrolling project or any multimedia project, it can be video blog, but which means that teachers editor is taking the assignment right in the day when the breaking news arrived and starting work on it with its own timeline. Like for after a three days should be ready. I don't know, scrolling or multimedia projects by end of the week should be ready. Video blog by two weeks should be, if it have potential of, for it, investigative story and so on. Uh, so then we have copy editor. Copy editor is the same time fact checker in our case. Uh, but not only fact checker, copy editor reviews and edits written content for accuracy and quality and checks like right titles. So in somehow until the product arrived to the output editor for publishing, it should be reviewed by copy editor uh, and confirmed. Uh, and Copy editor is responsible, like let's say so, uh, final responsible point for publishing of material. And therefore, I think it should be member of first editorial team, which is selecting like topics for the day, uh, differs different formats, how they should be covered and so on. 
And then we have traffic manager here. We talked about it yesterday. Traffic manager is far more than just person who is looking on some poor numbers like visitor numbers or so on. Uh, traffic manager has a also vision. Let's say so which format will have more engagement side of audience which format will have more potential, which format will be more popular based on experience. So it should be like evidence-based suggestions from side of traffic manager. Uh, and then let's see the production team. It's clearly production team. Here we have a production manager who oversees the whole process and uh, divides workload between different increment sprint logs, like those. And in our case, sprint increment sprint logs are uh, specific uh, formats, specific content, specific formats. Uh, then we have here editorial researcher, who I think could be as well, let's say so, AI master or AI specialist, uh, because we will speak about it, about using artificial intelligence tools in newsroom production, uh, which means that in case of AI, it's not so easy, the situation, because we used to say that uh, it's very smart, we can do everything, what will be happen with the humans, we will lose our jobs, media or journalists or different professions will not be needed in close future. It's not right, at least for this time. Uh, the person who will work with the AI, uh, first of all, should know what, what cannot do AI, rather than what can do, uh, and in which in and how to give to AI different kind of requests. In which cases can be used which specific platform, and also that person, I think, in. Uh, dedicated times, dedicated days, I would say, of the week, uh, time by time should train multimedia reporters on it. Multimedia reporters, graphic designers, and on training of, of that person, of course, should invest management, like media outlet. Uh, also, it is a that person works on depth search, support news stories with the additional information, like providing what will be described based on it on the in the backlog. Um, then we have graphic designer. I've merged those functions according to our yesterday's survey. Mm, graphic designer is not like making on graphics exactly designs general visual content, including the help of AI where it is possible. Uh, crafts infographics, layouts, and different components for completing new stories. Uh, and we then have then we have visual editor because. His experience shows nowadays newsrooms has not that luxury having like several persons, several positions for crafting, like having separately video editor, having separately, I don't know, photo editor. And so it's a visual editor, which still is uh well trained on using ai where things can be done easily with help of ai like it, it can be crafting i don't know visual or image based on it based on uh backlog 
of manual of how to how should be crafted the material. Yes, and visual editor can be not one only one person, but two or three it depends on the workload of the newsroom. But for sure, that person works for everything related with the crafting of visual. And then we have multimedia reporter, which I think is a like main person, main uh, ground player for newsroom in that case. And as well, in case of multimedia reporter, we have not only one person, of course. I'll copy it because we need the at least I don't know, three, four, five, six persons and duties from those uh, format backlogs will be distributed between them. And here I think even while starting the job, uh, the newsroom management starting from assignment editors pay a big attention to to have well skilled multimedia reporters uh, and here I'll suggest but but before that just tell me your suggestions if you agree uh, on that kind of distribution of workload and the production process. In our situation, it's different. Uh, like um, one media reporter, I mean, multimedia report doesn't produce content across uh, different uh, digital platforms. They don't do that, you know, because um, in our situation, uh, they are working on just time, you know, to do it, to publish uh, right away. So if they waste their, I mean, not waste, but they are not as skilled to do it efficiently to place all this uh, content for different platforms, they will you know, lose time. So in our situation, it's not working. Plus, we have another additional, I mean, uh, we have another person who is in charge of uh, producing, um, you know, content for the, 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 like Instagram, uh, TikTok and Facebook, you know, there is a different person and one person doesn't do all of this. But that person will need Tamara kind of raw material about what to craft, for example, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. story. But who is providing nice. that information, that material? Uh, uh, material okay. they are they are uh, themselves searching for the content and they publish it and they're on their own of course it goes editorial editor then checks their content they, they do they put photos uh, videos in you know this uh, things that is important for the uh, textual content uh, but uh, for like placing uh, for like a different uh, digital met they, they have they are not doing it this is a, a responsibility of the social media manager Responsibility of publishing, you mean, or responsibility of creating? Uh, cre um, or both of them? Uh, both of both. Yeah, we have a separate, another another person who is creating and then publishing does the editor of the social media. Another person creates the content, like for like different digital platforms. And then uh, the social media manager publishes. Uh -huh. and okay. they also, but they also can do it on their own but uh i think as i know uh the i mean editor she controls uh what kind of content will be placed on different platforms you know so okay what what if i will just try the hour just one minute i need another board for production what we have created And I'll explain what I mean here.
But uh, Dachi, the most of the content that is placed on different social platforms like Instagram and TikTok, they are more entertainment kind of news. Like um, like political news are mostly, of course, uh, shared on the Facebook, but um, the entertainment content, because in the radio we have a lot of entertainment content uh, for, coming from four radio stations. Uh, and the person who is in charge of this uh, entertainment content, she is the one who actually uh, places the, the all this kind of creates the content and plus she publishes on uh, those uh, platforms not Facebook just um, for Facebook we have a, a sp editor of the social media but for the like um, other platforms such as TikTok and uh, Instagram uh, another person is in charge but there as I said mostly they are entertainment news uh, so you have divided like entertainment news yes and yes news yes and because like. Yeah, yeah. Because the person who is in charge of the uh, entertainment content, she's not as competent to do political news, you know, for doing for TikTok, for, I mean, for as she does for the entertainment. So well, we are very careful when we choose the journalists. So, you know, uh, because it's serious content when you're working uh, with the uh, political news. So we rather, the editor will be, will be social media manager will be in, is doing this uh, once in a while, but it's not as frequent as uh, entertainment news on other digital platforms. Mm -hmm. Facebook is the mostly, the main platform we use it, like maybe I think 80% of the content is, is placed on Facebook. Okay, what I wanted to say, what if, like production manager will oversee it will not be like work only of multimedia reporter because multimedia reporter will be responsible only on uh, uh, crafting on like textual uh, material of mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. uh, but what's related with the visual everything like either in a conway role in conway order will be developed by visual editor, like uh, digital editor, mm -hmm. graphic designer, uh, and multimedia reporter just will be oversee that process in somehow like patronizing mm -hmm. uh, his uh, specific content or article. Uh, and the process will be overseen by production manager and graphic and uh, uh, output output editor. Who mm -hmm. will be responsible? How to, which format, like those, should be published on which platform? Mm -hmm. Like we are seeing here. Mm -hmm. Because I think in that case, process will be much more fast than now. Just in case, in that case, then you will need to train to have well trained multimedia reporters, and uh, they are now. But of course, we should consider that multimedia reporter should not be alone in that process. He, uh, he or she will need uh, further help from the production team, like as I said, be it visual editor, graphic designer, or I don't know editorial researcher. Mm. But uh, how is things in case of Palitra Media now? Like um, so uh, we also don't, don't have this separate uh, people who will revise the work, except the uh, multimedia uh, editor and editor, uh, multimedia journalist and editor, of course. Uh, so um, I think that it will be uh, very uh, pricey to have one more person just for revision. Uh, I'm not sure. What do you mean for revision? Uh, I mean, mean for, for evaluating the content and for publishing it. So we are moving to the uh, track that uh, a person should think about everything, not only text, but also for the visual. If we think that we need the help of graphic designer, we ask them to help with the posters or something like this. But uh, on the usual uh, 
uh, workflow. Uh, only so uh, the journalist produces his uh, product and the editor revises it and publish. Same with us, yes. Mm -hmm. So how is that whole process, let's say, so that workflow organized from the beginning? As in our case, I said that the editorial team is selecting topics and deciding what should be published in which format. Yeah, uh, so uh, each editor uh, has uh, their uh, <laughs> topics. Oops, sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, has uh, each topics uh, who are, um, who, and they uh, have this uh, ideas from journalists, of course. So there, they have a meeting with journalists. So he had at least uh, three or four topics per day, which they're going to work. Uh, and uh, uh, during the morning meeting, if we agree that this uh, angle of this uh, topic is interesting, uh, they In start who is participating on that morning meeting, Nata? So um, we have like two morning meetings. One, the first one is editors with their journalists, and then twenty minutes later, it's all editors at the one board. Mm -hmm. Uh, already oh, without journalists because it will be too crowded <laughs> yeah. to have everybody at that one table. And they are selecting like topics. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, uh, of course, we have the uh, daily uh, announcement which we are covering. Uh, and this is mostly the work of news uh, agency and also news agency proposing some ideas of, of exclusives what they are going to work on. Uh, and uh, other websites have more uh, like analytical or long read or special project ideas. And uh, also, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, we're discussing these ideas uh, together uh, to avoid doubling this content uh, and to finding different angles for different websites to have diversity of content. And uh, then uh, one website's journalist is assigned to this uh, uh, article or long read what, on what we decide, or maybe video, or maybe multimedia content uh, you know, altogether. And uh, after this, uh, uh, the editor whose journalist is it, um, uh, he uh, got to get the work from the journalist uh, which is uh, already uh, fully um, uh, edit not edited, but it's uh, it's uh, with uh, photos, uh, maybe infographics or videos, all the whole material, and uh, then evaluate it, uh, edit it, and publish. That's the process. Um, after this, we had the corrector, but uh, the role of corrector with the spell checkers is less now than it was uh, years ago. Uh, and um, yeah, that's it. And then the work of social media and distributing the content. And for example, when the on the same topic, something should be published and recrafted for a Facebook and other for a Instagram and of course on your web page, who is doing that? Yeah. So um, similarly, as Tamar mentioned, uh, our social media are not just link sharers uh this uh, they are a uh, content creator so when we are looking for uh social medias uh we are looking for people who are uh, good enough to understand things uh good uh, they are like journalists with social media skills mostly like this because uh, they can shorten news, they can find the right angles for social media and then can give a good visualization for it. Um, and uh, but yeah, that's um, I think that uh, we're well qualified for it and do it very well. So we even don't revise it uh, a lot. Uh, so you themselves multimedia reporters are working on it. They're yes. Really yes. And in which... because, because that she, uh, the social media managers, they are very skilled in uh, creating a specific content for Instagram. They are already have trained uh, and they have uh, good training. I mean, done on these directions. You know, Instagram because it's <laughs> more specific. Even the our Facebook social media editor is not as skilled. For example, performing the content for TikTok or Instagram. It's a different approach. 
And so th therefore, um, so we have the separated the job obligations because of that, because they need, as um, Natalia mentioned, uh, certain kind of skills that the journalists, the regular multimedia journalists, I mean, well, just our journalists, they don't possess. Um, so that's an that's a issue. That's why I wish we had the three in one, but uh, in reality, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. And how you're dealing when when is the biggest biggest workload like uh, uh, several news is are happening? We don't uh, we don't have a problem actually because we produce around fifty uh, news a day for uh for our uh, Fortuna G for so one. Sorry, uh, my Excuse me, sorry. I think somebody <laughs> accidentally. Um, so uh, we don't we don't produce. I mean, it's we don't have this issue that. with the uh, overload. Oh, okay. <laughs> now it's I can talk. So, um, so we don't get to uh, overload. Uh, we just on the track, and um, and I would say that we have very uh, good. I mean, very large audience in the Facebook. Um, uh, and uh, we attract uh, about one million half uh, audience uh, a month, so mm -hmm. it's a pretty good traffic. Yeah, so yeah, we don't. And what any... about diversity of formats? Mm, diversity. We we are we are, we are of course we don't we don't have as diverse content as um, um, Palitra Media has, but what we are working as is our direction is business politics, uh, entertainment news. Um, we have uh, like social media news. And this is the uh, sport news, you know, just main main topics that every newsroom should have. But uh, Natalia, I mean, IP, I mean, um, Palitra Holding has, of course, more diversified, taking into consideration that have many many websites. Um, they and so we also have, of course, um, uh, radio programs that produce medical news, uh, health news. I mean, all sorts of programs that are placed then uh, later on the Fortuna G side. And as I mentioned, Fortuna G is a um, is a is a unique platform because it combines uh, four radio station under one umbrella, and you can uh, listen to the uh, what's it? It's our like unique feature that uh, differs from other websites on the market because it has this player uh, that is uh, installed that and simultaneously you can listen to four radio stations at one. I mean, uh, separate, of course, from one uh, platform, not going outside to different radio stations of that belongs to us. So, and as a player, you can uh, listen to the music and uh, you can uh, visualize uh, who is the singer and uh, read the biography about the singer. And also, so this, everything is integrated in one player. And plus we have, as we said, um, uh, four radio stations under one umbrella and it's uh, Radio Ardeidar, Dr. Radio, Fortuna Plus, Fortuna. And most of the content is produced on two websites. It's uh, Fortuna and Ardeidardo because Ardeid and Fortuna Plus because Ardeidardo is entertainment channel it's uh, mostly like a musical content that we produce mm -hmm. and fortuna uh it's a uh, only like um like we call it like more serious news like politics business uh because it's a format of the radio station it's uh, it's required by the format to have uh, news on fortuna and so we produce uh, different contents it's the politics business uh, sports uh, and uh, social media and, and so on yeah and but you have not such a let's say so big diversity of of formats not genres I mean just formats like uh, um, having infographics posters short interviews short videos. Uh, we videos. have no we do have it we do have videos so we do produce so we have a special uh, person who actually is in charge of producing video content for our radio station for our um, uh, platform and we produce um, like uh, uh, video stories um, it can be like um, uh, it's not necessarily entertainment it can it mostly are like a so on social topics uh, it can be political, social, and the journalists twice a week, they go and produce video content. Uh, it's exclusive content, native content, because it's very important to have native content for your website and not just, you know, copy paste from other news agencies. So 
we try to produce native content and we are um, sending our news uh, journalists to, to produce this video content. Also, uh, uh, we produce native content from our radio programs when the um, experts and guests uh, and you know come to our, our uh, radio station and we do recording of those uh, programs and then we place it in mm -hmm. Fortuna energy. Good, good. What I want to share now with you is a, uh, and uh, I'm very interested as well. Uh, but but I don't know if you have any challenges in your, uh, let's say so, news and production processing. Let's discuss or now or later. Or... Uh, yeah, sure. You can discuss later. You. The uh, the main actually like issue that can be is a lack of um, uh, uh, journalists who are uh, competent in like in production of business kind of news. Of course, we have on our team, but we wish to uh, to develop this direction more because um, it's a it's a direction that is a very. Uh, inter I mean, for us, for development and for attracting more uh, clients uh, to uh, Fortuna Holding, it would be very nice to have more competent journalists that are specializing in the business, uh, you know, because it's a very specific topics and not all journalists are uh, competent in the uh, business world, you know, what's going on in the business industry. So I wish we had more competent in the market, but the Georgia, as you know, Beata said, also is a very small country and to attract the journalists who have this kind of skill skills is very difficult because most of them are going to high positions. They work for high organizations for very high um, uh, salary. So it's, it is, it's, it is yeah, tough, it's tough. Yeah, to attract. Uh, 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 when you mean yeah. like uh, when you need some specific knowledge, not a person for specific. general college. Yes, exactly. Like that. Right. But maybe mm -hmm. it's worth right. Especially using, I don't know, mm -hmm high course students, like senior students for it. Because like a uh, like business direction is a bit difficult finding people on, I mean, finding person on uh, well-skilled person in that field uh, on salary of journalist, let's say so. But maybe some yeah. beginner person like say, say so senior student or someone can be good on that position. Okay, we try to attract. We have uh, contracts with many universities. They do come for like internship uh, with for to our company, but they mostly are. They, I mean, it has changed. It's not like it was many many years ago. Like uh, with your with you, you know, everybody were happy to come for an internship and do. You know, they are kind of spoiled. <laughs> they are looking for very very high positions for the. I mean, and the high salaries right away, and they they don't uh, as much interest interested in uh, working for. Uh, fortunately, for like traditional media's, uh, maybe most maybe TV would be more like a. a I mean, for them, in more interesting for them to, uh, but uh, for some reason, for radio, they are not as excited as uh, it used to be. Unfortunately, this is an issue. It's this usually how it happens, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, they would rather work for television and for very, very high. Um, it, it is it is very hard to attract uh, students. It's more easy to attract the uh, skilled journalists than to attract the, the student uh, and to do an internship, even paid internship. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Now I'll share with you another component of our workshop. It's related with the uh, improving with improving of multimedia reporter skills. And my suggestion is like having a dedicated program for it. Uh, I believe it's worth to invest on it because in that case, you will have well-skilled multimedia reporters who will be able to deal with the, with all the production cycle. Um, of course, in general terms, uh, because with some advanced uh, things, with, with some topics which are related with the, I don't know, advanced expertise of of graphical design or I don't know video editing, then you have and you will have a dedicated person. And what does it mean? First of all, this is what I mean. 
just wait one minute, I'll share my screen. <laughs> Okay, hopefully you can see now my screen. Yeah, yeah, we can. Okay. I think someone's microphone needs to be muted or because I hear some voices. I fix it that you saw. Okay, okay. I, I, I'm a controlling. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your support. So, uh, I mean, considering a special program, I mean, special learning program for multimedia reporters. And it does not mean, of course, that uh, multimedia reporter should be, uh, should have like highly ranked professional skills, what is related to be video production or uh, I don't know, audio editing, but I think newsroom can teach to multimedia reporters those um, basic skills, which can be divided in three directions. And uh, three years ago, I had such an experience, I think with the, as I remember with the Palitra Media, but then with the different media outlets, some work I on, who helped in uh, transformation to digital media. And here we have three directions and both of three directions are important, equally important. Of course, I will pay more attention on the middle, on the line in the middle, which named how to create. Of course, this is related with the journalistic writing skills. Now when journalist comes to newsroom, they should have such a skills, but um, one is knowing uh, general schematic of crafting of articles, but another is knowing, and this is really very easy to, to learn, knowing how to write different kind of uh, material for different kind of formats, for different kind of platforms. Like one is uh, how to start, how to end the short article. Another is how to work on post or on text, which should be published on Facebook, uh, because there are um, uh, differences on on effect, what you can have uh, an impression, what you can have on audience. For example, we know that in case of social media, audience is always rushing. And if you want to say something, you should say in first three seconds, four seconds, show or say or read. So you should start always with a effective uh, language. Uh, but still, I'm saying those are preset rules. What multimedia reporting can learn very easy in very short time of period. Then we have also basic skills of video editing. And here we are speaking about uh, basic logic of video editing, let's say so, uh, as well as audio editing or photo editing. Uh, I showed you yesterday that handbook and you and I have there very with, explained with very easy way. And of course, knowing online platforms. Uh, especially last period, it's very or modern times. There are many, many very useful online platforms working on infographic, data analysis, data visualization. And of course, there should be, I believe, uh, a special dedicated session for AI tools. Uh, because there are like a Photosonic, for example, Bingo, Bing, um, which creates a very easy way visual for visualizing the specific content. Uh, this is mostly related when we want to 
craft some visual and we have text and we have not visual and we need some general visual. Otherwise, we should like, I don't know, buy it on Clipart service, uh, which distributes ready-made photos, or I don't know, having an uh, artist who will sketch for us such visual. But in time of AI, this is very easy. We are just should to know how to explain, how to give request what we are, what we need. Uh, then also very important line, and uh, I'm afraid we are not paying always attention to that line. This is how to care equipment, because multimedia reporters, of course, need equipment, and the equipment is hardworking on a daily basis, but when they are not uh, caring for them, uh, where they are not maintaining them with the right way, then it's a um, financial, how to say, uh, big fine became big financial problem for newsroom management as far as without I don't know tripod, camera, voice recorder, or I don't know, additional accessories, or even computer is impossible to work, but. When reporters and it happens very often, sometimes they are not tech savvy. Sometimes uh, they don't know know how to deal with equipment. It became problematic. It needs fixing permanently, and so and so. And of course, the production skills like how to or video shooting, photo shooting, audio recording, basic skills, uh, lighting. And when I speak lighting, people always are scared why journalists should know lighting, but we are not speaking about lighting of TV stations level. We are speaking um, about that, for example, respondent when you are taking picture should not stay uh, in, in front of sun, so sunlight should not uh, be reflected on your lens or even any kind of light. And of course, new media, hardware and different kind of technology. And uh, with that way, by the way, it's a very funny video. And he showed me, I don't remember one of the reporters when I uh, had attempts to teach him all those kind of works. He just showed me that video and said that you need such kind of person, but then did I agree? Yeah, we need such kind of person in multimedia reporting, which makes you will see several things together. But it's very rare to have such people in your team. <laughs> it's a special talent. It's a special talent that not everybody possess, I think. Yeah. No, no, no. It's a, it's a wrong attitude, Tamara, because I believe with that learning, what I described, with that implementing that program, let's say so, uh, having that such a program on place will be very easy because we are not now speaking for virtuoso person, of course, but just having those basic skills on place uh, and it will make life much more easier and workload of newsroom much more effective. Because we tried so many yes. times, like to insert, uh, like for example, we are we the, our the journalists they underwent special trainings on how to create visual interesting content, like a you know, infographic, you know, all these different visual uh, elements. But for some reason, they start at the beginning, but it takes so much effort for them to insert, and plus it's so time consuming. 
they are not as motivated to perform. Plus, it takes a lot of time, and they get sidetracked, and uh, they don't. They don't. Uh, they are afraid that they will lose another important news they have to write. And plus, there is no demand on those kind of unfortunately like the, this kind of visualization because. Uh, we tried many things, and uh, what is working for our audience is like photo, video, and uh, the story. And uh, and of course, photo is very important, and text. Uh, and uh, but all these infographics, they of course it's it's nice a uh, feature, but it doesn't really like um, it's not as uh, how you say um uh, necessary for our audience like important feature and we lose time and plus they they put so much effort in it so it's so like for them it's like sometimes can be frustrating so i don't know it just maybe uh, certain people are like that i don't know uh this is what our basic experience because we we actually spend uh, quite a bit of trainings and the financial resources to train the journalists but eventually they don't they just don't want to play around with all this interesting visual features because they find it like as i said time consuming and uh, i don't know then they don't do it uh, in an optimal way yeah, yeah. <laughs> is someone yeah. trying to say something yeah, yeah in an agile way you know like a fast way an optimal way unfortunately so they would rather stick to their old uh, working style or working routine because uh, it produces still, we, we get all these benefits that what we need. The most important uh, issue, I mean, the most important part for their job is to create interesting content uh, with proper headlines, uh, with uh, proper SEO uh, coding and whatever, you know, so they, they know how to write all these keywords. So this is what we, uh, they put a lot of efforts in, you know, on the C optimization, on the good, uh, correct titling, the right, finding the right photos, and uh, all these other visual elements. Unfortunately, they they were not being practical for us, you know. Yeah, it means to me that I think then you need like um, well developed plan uh for how to how to act uh for the future because uh because there is a so big competition just making yeah. you know having just for example i don't know text and photo will not be enough in close future time this is one thing another thing is that what you described now it's very good everything is very good it's very very right approach like knowing uh SEO rules making right titles like keywords this everything is very important and covering as many as uh, possible platforms mm -hmm. but but uh, you said that you had uh, efforts i know about it like providing different kind of trainings but that's what i am saying i don't mean like comprehensive training uh, regarding for example which is we used to conduct uh, in the usual way, like I don't know, three or four days con or training, for example, on on video shooting and how to craft comprehensive uh, materials. I'm speaking just having preset rules, like basic rules on everything to become universal journalist, mm -hmm. like. I know that, for example, Palitra had such an attitude. Uh, hopefully, that uh, will agree with me. This better part. Yes. There was a, of course, there was a kind of resistance from journalists. I remember, but time by time, they became still like universally trained, skilled persons. Yes. So our approach is to uh, train them and uh, to use the rule that. Uh, if you are not uh, skilled, if you are not multimedia, you don't have a chance to be promoted. So, uh, and uh, so we pay a lot of attention, a lot of emo positive emotion when they do something good and uh, uh, prize them uh, if they're good in some work. So uh, that works, but it's still so new people still like to um, don't want to be in the, would work with these rules, but we're trying to find people who will work. So it's, it's really important to 
have this kind of person because if uh, you um, agree to work with people who don't want to uh, work on themselves, uh, that means that you will stop. So changes are always very hard, but uh, um, they understand that if they will not change, uh, they will not find a place in this company. Even their uh, salaries will not grow enough to be uh, good. Thanks. Yes, and Yes, and the, thank you, Natalia. And therefore, uh, I think we should try to make that transformation or learning easier. But at the same time, okay, I'm understanding what Tamara means that um, there are uh, lack of resources, there are financial troubles when you are independent and commercially approached to the um, field. Uh, but still, I think it's worth to invest to such a in such a activity like having such a learning module. Let's say so. Uh, kit. Uh, especially with uh, AI tools, uh, it's become like a play. We're <laughs> we're playing and uh, we're um, looking for new instruments and we're sharing this experience. Then they will share what we did with this AI. And um, uh, so it's a big game and uh, we like it. So it's become like an uh, uh, organizational uh, culture to share these kinds of new things. And uh, that, that's really nice. I also very involved with, involved in it. Yeah, <laughs> good, good. And next topic what I want to share with you is related with the agile covering of breaking news because as far as this is also very important in working of convergent newsroom and uh, that she maybe will have five minutes again or it's early okay okay if uh, everybody don't mind okay yes I don't mind okay thank you good job you forget your status, you forget your future, you forget your past. What do you involve here is the now.
Okay, I see we can start. Is my colleagues are. Yes, we are here. Great, great. So just one minute, I'll share my screen once again. Okay, this is just a little presentation, let's say so slight, how should be the backlog done. And this is the main principle of agile approach. Uh, let's say so, while thinking about topics, because it was the question related also yesterday, just we should think and answer the following three very basic questions. Who and what is covered in our story? And what do we want to demonstrate through that story? And next is, how do we wish to demonstrate it in each means? And I'll tell that while the planning, the backlog meeting, ensure that you have information we need, like making research is done, not to like pause or stop the production in the middle way, and what kind of sound beats, materials, voices do we need? And then what kind of multimedia products do we need? And what is most important thing here, your idea should be relevant to your resources. As I said, in case of newsroom management, is very important, like, Keeping the main rule, what is related with the work in progress limitation, not to give to staff overall the assignments, because otherwise we'll have not by deadlines anything greater than everything. And here we are coming to the next topic, like on the formats on the diversity. Why is diversity important? Diversity of, of materials important. And how should we act on this process? Because there can be a thousand ways of telling story, but the principle will be always the same. The story should be told briefly, but comprehensively, ensuring clarity and depth. And I'll show several formats, which are not really difficult, just, just, just we need some uh, creativity of it. So this is just video created just here is the knowledge of uh, having taking shots in a specific order uh, and then replacing it because this is without voiceover of author, just having interviews organized in the proper way. And you can see this is really very nice nicely crafted reading. So you have just nice view and interesting people, nothing uh, difficult or nothing special or nothing related to I don't know look in science. That you know voice, no sound. Uh, is there a sound? Uh, or... it, 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 you cannot hear sound. No, no, there is no sound. Oh, so there is a sound. Maybe it's yeah. Can you hear it now? No, we cannot hear. I think it's technically impossible because if your sound on your computer blocking. Okay. 
And is this that... is what I meant when I spoke Tamara about the basic uh like skills of of, of production. Because here we see there is a uh like any high class art, let's say so. Just journalist here is following what journalist is watching, but uh, those video frames are edited with a really basic, very basic specific uh, order. And then just crafted interview, interview is recorded in one place, as you can see, it's cut it and replaced still with the order, just having the storyline. Uh, next format, what I want to show and motivate you doing this, it's related with the human angle. It's a so-called portrait, video portrait. And you can see that uh, it was prepared by the way, multimedia journalist of, of regional media outlet. And everything happens only, not only in one room, but in one corner of the room and with very basic camera with very basic skills and just you can see how interesting it is this is related with the profession You can see that there are just underlined some some details. And you can see really all the reports is just only one corner, but it's really interesting, attractive. Dachi, this is you who who recorded this video, as I remember, right? Sorry? This is you who did this video. No, no, it's not my production. Oh, oh sorry. It, uh, but you mm. were in. Uh, you were teaching uh, the regional journalists how to do yes. that? Okay. Yes. It's yes. a journalist, not uh, the cameraman is doing this, right? No, 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 it's a journalist. It's, it's a, a journalist. Like, uh -huh. very beginner journalist. Very just, cool. Ju yeah. Just keeping those basic rules and skills, what I described previously. Yes. Like yes. The journalist has done that, that, that basic training of yeah. multimedia journalism. It's very Another cool. video is video just with captions, without any a voiceover, without any... Just here all play the captions. So in reality, it it was a like let's say text for a very short article, but text was so small, narrative was so little that that was impossible to use it like a just narrative, like just just, just publish like a text and photo. Uh, what usually are doing uh, in Georgia media outlets still. I mean all I mean the outlets and here was decided why to not why why not to give the major role to video to visual and just follow it by the, the text and it's still very nice. This is this I took by from Palitra, by the way, Nata. It's a sketch. No, oh, really. And it's done in online platform, by the way. It is very primitive, very easy, but still is attractive. 
So that's why I'm saying that uh, I think I believe it's worth always try having those uh, diversity of, of formats. And this is also it has been done in, in online platform in Go Animate. I did it took me, I don't know, maybe one hour just because there are ready made uh features, ready made the faces, subjects, and you can do easily. What is the software you're using in this situation? It's it's Go Animate. Ah, Go Animate. Ah, okay. Yeah. okay. And this is really very, very, very easy. So when you have some, I don't know, you want even it can be used Tamara for advertisement, for preparing, I don't know, some information, some business information, some advertisement purposes, or I don't know, with a commercial mission or or any, I just know, funny. Right. Mm -hmm. Because it have ready made like uh, faces, music, you can put text, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And this is infographic, but we are calling it short infographic. This also is very easy as far as it's prepared in uh, Canva. Mm -hmm. And you can see that here we have just two two numbers. Like here is actually here we have just one sentence, just with the playing of colors and those numbers in infographic, it became information. In reality, it was just one sentence, I don't know, several words. And now this is a bit uh, advanced version of infographic, but still it can be prepared on online platform, like Canva or Wisma. But uh, most important thing what I wanted to underline, uh, underline that uh, the main problem is usually in newsroom work, in newsroom planning is that uh, journalists often are complaining for topics that there is no topic, there is today there is not happening, nothing. We have lack of materials and so, but in reality, I'm always saying that there is no such thing as an interesting topic. Uh, there can be only insufficiently prepared ones. And uh, I show you what I mean. It's an uh, opera. Now it lasts about one hour. I don't know, bother you, but I'll show you the same uh, content, the same person prepared in another way. So you agree with me, it's very attractive and why? Just it's a very often changing frames, properly selected shots and personalities. This is what makes our material diverse and interesting. And therefore we should look on things differently. And then we always will see the different picture rather than it is in reality, like 
those several examples. All those pictures are not photoshopped, are just how they was pictured. And now I believe most interesting things what I want to share with you is related with the agile covering of breaking news. Uh, they're calling it covering by the layers when something um, urgent happens, uh, breaking news, let's say so. Uh, for example, on disaster, I have done it on an on, on example of disaster just a, a general example, how we can to, uh, how we can transform, let's say so, uh, the challenging opportunity and how we can buy a time for our production team to work properly and prepare materials. Uh, first of all, we never call the on-scene reporter to go through the entire production cycle to deliver a perfect product to the viewer. So we are not waiting until everything will be um, taken, all, I don't know, interviews, all information will be gathered and prepared the material because until that other competitors will be covering the issue because someone can be on place, someone can be close and so and so. Therefore, we are just publishing what we know um, in the event in the title, even if we don't know anything else, but we know for sure that some disaster, the disaster happens in the specific says, uh, place. And by the way, we are saying that stay with us. We are in control. Our journalist in on place is working and we are waiting further information. Even we need more time because on that topic are working other competitors also. We are not alone on the media field. And therefore we are giving next what we can have. And it can be even, I don't know, phone, live connection via mobile phone with our reporter who is on place. But still we always keep the keyword in the title to maintain connection with previous news or CO, uh, I mean search engine optimization, and continuity, like our, we should not lose our mm, viewer, our audience. They should have the impression that coverage is continuing. Uh, and it, when the event is hot, the editor does not wait for products to be finalized, even when we have some materials, but they are under production, in production process. They provide just the customer with what, what they have, even if it is reporters from recording, as I said. We are still under development. We are working on materials, but we, we have not still provided like videos or anything because it's under production. Uh, and you really saw in words of mouth while the reporter is still on the ground, is working. We should buy time for using infographics, Google Maps, and other means, which are always available on the internet. For example, the satellite map always provides the location of the disaster, which is constantly engaging for the audience. Additional viewers can explore the approximate city where it happens and so on. So we are giving information what we have without uh, having that full package of information. But at the same time, we always keep the keyword in the title to maintain connection with previous news, as I said. So that you can always see the green box with the text because we should always keep at least one word, one keyword in the title for keeping 
um, uh, connection with the previous news and having CO optimized. The title still is very important. We have some first photos and we are saying that we receive the raw material because we received material, but material is still under production because we had no time for it. And we are saying that we already received the raw material from the scene and now we need to allocate time for production. Therefore, we are giving just photos, not waiting for Photoshop and Premiere production and sharing the most important information what we have, still keeping the word keyword in the title. And first report is ready and we are giving it on air, just still keeping the keyword in the title. One report was ready, was already published. We still need time for gathering any different kind of information, but we are agilely giving what we can like, uh, how it can be statements from site of government, some expert opinions, but what is most important, material from citizen reporters, which always we have so-called user-generated content. And all kind of lot small information. So there is sometimes, um, Editors are waiting like comprehensive having important and they are thinking that having publishing that big prime information gives them that, um, let's say so, privilege among other competitors, but it's not true. Um, here the role plays continuous coverage of, of, of the topic. And therefore, here we can give any any small kind of uh, tiny information with it. And of course, as I said, diversity plays here key role. And in case of coverage, such as breaking news, is that way we always should plan and publish lately. Also, so called long reads because. Some are like so-called bits are bite side sunflower news, someone likes long reads, investigations. So we always should work on diversity of materials because even having, I don't know, one or two or three more, but that number is is usual much more. Visitors on the web page it, it plays a lot. Okay, any questions regarding that? Or we can continue our agenda. Because I should leave today, as Tamara already mentioned, because that very important meeting was postponed for today. Uh, but before that, I want to show you some very useful platforms and uh, explain how they are working and how we can use them in our like, daily work in planning, production, and so on. Just I find here my mm. 
Okay, there we are. So this is not easy one like Kanban boards, which can, can you can use for team working, making um, collaborative decisions and so on. I can share you, but this is the main page. It's a totally free with many functions. We worked on it, but I'll explain additional functions. Uh, I'll share that link as well. Like this is landing page, which you can use. But by the way, I will share with you all sources what I used during the workshop. So, only what you need is just name the type the name of the board. Just name your board. Click on enter. And your board is ready. Only what you need is just share the link. And with that link, people can collaborate with you. They can uh, make login or even without it, just make uh, their desires regarding the selecting different kind of boards and how it, it works. Here we have a settings where you can set your name when you are newly joined it. And as far as the platform also has a voting uh, option, voting future, you can set votes per user. So how many votes can have each user? Let's make it 10. And then you can name the columns. Here, for example, is written like uh, already made when 12, just you can click on the settings. Let's make a classical one like to do. It's right here in progress. And here will be done. And then we can put here the card. Like that. Uh, the good issue is that you can change the color of the column of the boards. Even you can do right now if you join that link. I'll just put any kind of. I'll insert several boards here. And what is good that you can easily change place of card and card will change the color according to the place. But also when you want, when you need to have um, made the decision, choose some, I don't know, give priority to some topic or 
some event by voting. You can set here, sort by vote, and the voted card will be replaced on the higher place. You see. And also you have timer here. That's all. You have any questions regarding the platform or can I move further for the other one? No, I think it's an easy and useful one. Yeah, it's, it's very easy, yes, yes, exactly. Now let's try a bit more sophisticated thing. And here I think it's worth to try by yourself as well. It's a so-called Trello, it's a management platform. It's not only uh, boards, here you can have a timeline, table, like having, giving assignments to having different members I share now the access to the, so you can share the link having like permanent members on the specific no, board or just share with the link. I share the link. And uh, in general, the like the meaning, the concept is the same, but it's more sophisticated and has a much more function than a Boulder uh, board platform. First, you are adding the lists. Uh, it's it's a limited. You can make many of them, and then adding a card. But what differs it from other uh, easy primitive platforms? You can add a huge information. By the way, here. It's a himself the one card settings. It's not only card, but it's also uh, information storage, let's say so, because here you can have members, like adding members on each uh, card, uh, giving assignments, having changing label or differentiating it from others. Having checklist inside in the board, like if you have written here some assignment activity, or even let's say so one uh, material you are planning the material, you can just write here. For example, we are working on uh, its name test. We are working on I don't know report. about okay then we have a checklist here here should be like we can write description This is name of the uh, checklist.
like make research. Take the shots. And uh, as I said, you can assign each item to the specific person here if it's related with the teamworking, but also you can add a description. In a huge information like making link, uh, plugging uh, attachment file, make a date and so and change color. You can try yourself. I see some colleagues joined me on that board and I can help with any problem. What is good, you can have not only one like that workspace, but many other workspaces uh, and tracking those different projects on different places. For example, now we have here what I showed you. Uh, and I invited you in that specific workspace, workspace. But I have another one as well, like that one. And I'm moving, it's, it's for my work, I'm moving those tasks from column to column, like approved, advertised, review committee, contracted, and so on. Like just putting here, and it is. And inside we can have a lot of data. You can see I have a checklist or any kind of information with uh, having links. For example, I have here a link for Facebook related with that uh, specific assignment. Uh, I have even linked materials from my computer. So you can have many, many things. What is important if we assign to that specific card to someone, then you can manage uh, access levels for that specific person. So, and what is good, the same platform has a very good developed application on mobile phone or smartphone. And you can see manage everything from the Spark platform. So I believe for newsroom management, the specific uh, the Trello.com is very good because you can manage it from the field. You can give assignments. You can track the progress of the assignment like that one and so on. Even for example, in case of newsroom, I can make a uh, like, progress, like planning, production, publishing. And here I can have as many uh, products, or I don't know, multimedia materials as I want, as I wish. and giving the different colors or recognizing them easily. Or upload the uh, information or give the deadline. Like date when it should be prepared, including the uh, specific time, not, not only days.
Hey, have you tried yourself? I think it's still easy. It's better than the fact that it's, it has uh, many functions. It's it's not difficult, but please ask me if anything. You need to navigate for all those features. I'm ready. And yeah, there are uh, many different platforms. I selected to show it this specific platform because first of all, for free, it has a uh, very good um, options what you can use without paying, paying any, anything. But there are any other options also like uh, Asana, you can try. Uh, um, there is also Atlassian, uh, there are many different uh, platforms for agile management, but this I like much more because it's user friendly and has the many functions and it's a free at some point. And another tool is to do list, uh, which you can use, I don't know, in many things, not only in work, you can have a private list, you can you can share like the specific list with some specific people. And what is good, the to do as well has a uh, application for Android, for iOS, and this it's a live. Like when you're writing here something, For example, I did, I created now a new list. Under that list, you can add, create group, and add people, like share with a specific people, and the people will share it like, like you can have such a uh, assignments list with the different production groups, and just adding short assignments. And despite the fact that uh, it looks like primitive or easy, still it has a also very practical functions. If you click on that, himself on the assignment, you can see here right side, several functions like reminder, uh, setting deadline, uh, making uh, like repeat version. Still it has a ability of make having giving attachment and that attachment will be synchronized via mobile phone if you have it on mobile phone. Uh, and just selecting it will be disappeared but still will be incompleted list you can see here. And with that way, as I said, you can have a, as many lists as you wish, like for your private purposes, for your work, whatever. It's a product of Microsoft and it's well developed and secured as well. Okay, if we still have any time, I want to show you, um, and probably, I don't know, maybe you already even know it just, but I still want to show you just one minute. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Ah, uh, okay, just I should. 
I'll change my screen and I'm sure you several AI tools as well. Okay, this probably all of you know that chat OpenAI uh, service, chat GPT 3.5. Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, and uh, then it's very good. I'm often using it, but the problematic always was what is about the complaining in general to the AI that uh, sometimes it's not correct and we always should like double check what you write. Even yes. I tried myself. Yeah, the updated version is better. Uh, Dachi, I tried 4.0. And it's yes. much uh, has more precise, better, better. I mean, corrected news it's and it provides yes, but but, but but still, yeah, it's also but still, yes, but still, Tamara, you know what is the problem? To me, you are blind. Like uh, the program says you some tells you some things, and you cannot believe when you are going to use it if you don't know like exactly the topic. Exactly, uh, exactly. Can like. But, you. It also if comes up. Know. It also comes Sorry? up. It also comes up with the stories that don't exist, you know. And you have to be very careful. Like it comes up a very uh on the true stories, and they provide the, very frequently it has like fake uh information. It has to be double checked, but uh it has also been many 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 good features. Of course, that can be if you use properly, it's very yes. very beneficial. Yes. Yes, sure, because well, once I've tried, who is touching the visual and it, it wrote terrible things that I own Formula TV, like was involved in politics and so and so. Yes, yeah, I know. But if you know that another uh, AI based service, it's a per perplexity. Yes, I know it. Yeah, and this is very good because. It shows you sources, like yeah. Also, Google Bard starting to show you our sources of information, and uh, that's yes, super yes. useful. Mm -hmm. Yes, just it is more comprehensive to me than another one, because it gives. <laughs> Goodness, chest. <laughs> <laughs> radio Fortuna, radio. <laughs> okay, let's try. 
Dio. Because it's a, a goddess, I know, Fortuna. <laughs> My, <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and here we are. And what is good, we we are not like dependent on what AI says us in this moment because provided sources as well, you can see photos. And therefore, to me, it's very practical. Mm -hmm. uh, and here, fortunately, we have not yet such a platform in Georgian language, but from for for, for different purposes like making research, having information for some uh, different topics is very useful. But it's um, a wrong information. See, it says uh, two different formats, but it's not, we have a four, four formats, so it's not. Uh, still. <laughs> <laughs> we have already sessions for different formats. So yeah, it's not, it's okay, not. Still, it's not, uh, yeah, it's not. Yeah. And probably you know that as well, it's a photo generator. It's photosonic. You mm. are just taping whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Dachi, does it use the chat GPT software or it's, they are developing on their own all these new uh, AI sites? They have their own. Uh, like a base or they refer to chat gpt uh no 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 they they, they are independent, independent. They, i would say they are independently learned because uh -huh. you know here everything is dependent on learning mm -hmm. um, otherwise it's a learning machine system uh so yeah, I see. The specific company provided a lot of information. We are speaking about now for, I don't know, hundreds of terabytes. And it works independently from mm -hmm. okay. chat GPT. So this also is very useful, I think, for using uh, in production when you need, I don't know, some you know, general kind of photos, not some specific. Uh, you can request, I don't know, sketch. Um, for example, some I don't know. Photo of street. Great, let's. Okay. We haven't many time. I'm ready for answers and questions because I should leave unfortunately today earlier. And as I promised, I'll share all the sources what I used. Um, yes, I'm ready. If you are interested in anything related to the to our topic or I don't know, the production idea, please ask. Is there anyone here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm here. I have questions, but I, I will wait for others and then. Thanks a lot. Uh... For, for this lecture, for, for all these tools, some of them uh, I expect I've seen uh, for the first time. So I, I hope this might be helpful for us. Um, I just wanted to ask about uh, such well-known uh, collaboration tools as Asana, Atlassian that you, you mentioned. These are used in very like large companies uh, and uh, often these are very limited in a free version, a free of charge version, uh, and uh, are very good in uh, in the full package, let's say. Uh, can you tell uh, if some of these are really good uh, at the very basic version of them? You mean free version or uh, yes. like basic subscription plan, let's say so? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I still would recommend the Trello in that case, 
uh, Asana is better, to be honest, like better with the different functionalities. But you know what? Uh, um, Asana is more big, like projects, big diversity of projects. And there are many, many functions what you, in fact, will not use. Uh, it can be like attractive or, and therefore is expensive. Now, Trello, you can use even free version. Uh, now, even for me, for example, what I need in my like work, like planning, giving assignments. And so I'm using Trello for free. I have not such a subscription, but with, with further sub subscription, I don't remember, but it's not very expensive. Like, uh, for example, Asana, uh, I would recommend it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm also using Trello uh, for, for some projects, but uh, to be honest, uh, it works only when these are small teams, at least for me, uh, because it's like a project based and, and you can assign uh, every task to, to a specific person. But when it's a large project and a lot of people uh, are inside uh, and everybody like sees these notifications and uh, very soon people just get uh, annoyed by them. Ah, <laughs> I yeah. think that well, only for small uh, teams this can be. Yeah, in that case, I would recommend Monday.com. Monday mm -hmm. And Which what is, is really very on? good and it has, uh, I don't know, uh, many functionalities. I, I'll show you. And it, it has a, what is good, as you mentioned, uh, need of having a chat or forum. Uh, it has a forum uh, option, like chat option for group or for specifically assigned person. Uh, and then it gives a possibility uh, having different interfaces on different projects. And what is good then gives you insights of the project, what was done, then you can choose it, gives you ready-made infographics, like uh, successes, what was done, how many assignments was given, uh, what is the deadline and so on. I, I, I now show and open because I'm using it and I'm very satisfied for a, such a big, um, how to say, diversity project. And what is good, you can uh, customize it how you want, like changing titles, names. It's fully customizable. One minute. I'll share my screen, just I'll show you very quickly. So can you see my screen now? Yes. So this is my space here. You can uh, put whatever you want, but I have made uh, two different like uh, projects here. One is like Media Grand Strip the tracking tool, for example. Um, and you can change views. Now you can see this is the Kanban style and you can make whatever I want here, but you can then see here is a chat conversation it's related, can be related to the specific person or to the group who is assigned here. Um, then you have, as I said, different views, interfaces. For example, this is a main view and it's fully customizable as far as I've made, I have made those titles, for example. So you can make it differently. You can add any columns, what you want. And there are columns with a, uh, different functionality. And here you can see the uh, progress line. And it has a filter also, you can 
select whatever you want, just it's need upgrade, but I have a subscription, I don't know why it happens. Hmm. So do I understand right that the main difference from, from Trello here is uh, the existence of chat for every yes. and uh, this analytics, right? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. And it's customizable, as I said, uh, with many different ways. Uh... Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, and uh, the, the most important question is how to motivate uh, people to get into projects and uh, collaboration skills. Because, uh, for instance, last year, uh, our company also tried to, to move uh to zoho click this is another um software and uh people are still uh only part but still uh it's uh it's almost impossible to move there because uh, people are still yeah. using the wrong uh, not the wrong but the old uh, tools that they are used to whatsapp uh, chats i think nothing can replace whatsapp <laughs> And yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'll give you one one clever suggestion, I would say, what I did, because I had the same problem, mm -hmm. despite the fact that like all my co-workers are like tech savvy people and so and so, everyone used only just uh, Facebook chat even, not... But there is a, also what I want to say, it's worth to check. It's a Facebook service for project management. I don't know if you know about that. It's a workplace, workplace.com. Mm. That was a try. Georgi Tsukhadiani tried to introduce a Trello and nobody was checking checking the assignments that we were publishing on Trello. So we just leave it. We just... Uh, yes, uh, and then what I... Which what, trick, book? What, what trick I used... Uh, you know now there is a team, people are speaking about different topics. I don't know, going for retreat or for weekend or something happened. And I started writing some out of job things there. Ah, and okay. just started speaking that, you know, I find one very good store, I don't know, or some very interesting thing in, 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 at Amazon. Uh, I don't know, some very cheap something. And mm -hmm. what there is, I said, no, you can see in Trello. I put it in. <laughs> or I just know we are organizing something not related to the job, but some, some pleasant activity, let's say. So I'm, I, I made it for like a separate uh, section for uh, for friends or I just know it's it's out of work and I'm giving those suggestions information so I try I'm trying with that way to, to drive conversation in that place and it, it works it works because people then used to see they see that it's uh, easy they can have it in smartphone they can check always and also very good role plays and giving examples. Uh, for example, uh, when my attempts had not results, uh, working like team working on Trello, especially I find some to ask for some issues on staff meeting to my employee. And she was not ready for it. She said that I should check in computer. I said, no, no, there is no need. I just opened my smartphone and I'll find here what you cannot tell me now. And I showed everything. Though I don't know all grants, distribution, budgets, all very difficult, sophisticated files even. And she was very impressed on it. And after that, she's using it. Uh, and of course, the information is pre-adding, so you should try many of those different tricks. <laughs> mm. I see. Okay. Okay. All of this should go from, from below, right? Mm. Yeah. Sorry? Everything should go from below. Uh, I mean, yes. I give example to colleagues, uh, but uh, is it really working when, uh, when the management requires to use something uh, like 
<laughs> maybe obligatory, let's say compulsory. Uh, no, not be dependent on things to be obligation. Uh, now who knows me, everyone says that I am a like a very strict manager. I can give it, but I'm I'm never doing it. Of course, people can be I don't know scared. You can make uh, things that you should work on, but it not work. People should believe on what you want to make and to do. It's not for you should explain. Always is much more better, of course. I agree. Mm -hmm. But same time, I'm often saying that same time, you always should keep balance. And you can use a method of fines and awards, not only awards. Um, because sometimes it's not working when you are easy. <laughs> yes, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Because sometimes not everyone is the same. Take your take a, um you know uh, this uh, as a um, you know opportunity for them and they don't do like to perform and they it's uh, to be kind all the time and always uh, just doing uh, for motivation motivation sometimes you need to punish somebody otherwise it doesn't work sometimes you have to be yes, strict unfortunately it is tough. Uh, I agree I really don't like being strict uh, because. I think they should uh, they should have their own dignity. And when you address somebody, I, I don't like being like uh, punished or for myself. And so I don't want to do this for someone else, you know, but uh, therefore I try not to make mistakes. So, and that's why I treat them with big respect, but sometimes they take uh, advantage of it, you know? So um, that's when you have to be strict, I think. Yeah. When it's yeah, very I, important, yeah. I fully agree. Uh, when so, Tana, again, what, what did you choose after uh, after this Trello experience did not work? Uh, us? The other platform just, or you just gave up on this? We just gave up on this and we just continue through social media, we're chatting. No, WhatsApp. no, no, never, never <laughs> gave, up, gave up. Never, never, never say never, never stop yeah. exploring, trying. It's it's my slogan. I'm always yeah. trying we'll take into to achieve yeah. mission yeah. Yeah, to take this advantage because you, know, you all there are always some some ways to achieve what you want to do. Yeah. Uh, but but for that, first of all, you should believe what you want to do. <laughs> and yeah. looks like Tamara, first of all, you don't like and you don't no, want no. to. No, no, I like, I like, <laughs> no, 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 I do write everything for myself. I have like a, a giant um, gun charts uh, in Excel file, like when I do a, like a general project that has to be, and there are different uh, things involved, like we have a, this bigger event, Golden Way, for example. And we, when we are working on this project, it's very important that all different departments work coherently together, you know, simultaneously. So when there are like larger projects, I personally work in gun charts. People don't, a lot of people even don't know how to use gun charts, you know, in Excel, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So it's for me to visualize the process on a larger scale and time frame. But then uh, we have a meeting every time, so I tell them what are the deadline, when are the deadlines, what has to be done, and so I have this for myself. And then I allocate all these duties and obligations, so and they make sure they everything is on time. So it's for me because I realize that because I have education in this, I have I have studied how to use those platforms and you know platforms like Gantt and so it's easier for me to do it, but not for everybody it's easy. And so I don't know. Sometimes and, I, yeah. Another thing what worked as well is that because as I can see, I, I had uh, several efforts. It was not easy even in, in my case as well. But what I did, what I showed now, all those, for example, information about grants and behind that there are a lot of information, which of course needed to be uploaded, organized and so on. And how my team worked before that. They had, a, I don't know, organized in different folders on SharePoint, shared Excel files. You should search it. I organized it myself. It was my effort and provided like ready-made solution to them. Instead of 
saying that you should do that, you should organize it. That. And now they, of course, like it, they are working on it. Mm -hmm. So it's not easy, yeah. it needs some special efforts, but it, it works. Yeah, we'll try maybe <laughs> with other projects. But try that workplace because uh, I'm I I I I used it in previous program, in previous my previous work, and it was very practical. Just I I don't need now because this is very good for communications. What you mentioned, like communications in group, com individual communications. For that purposes, there are also some uh, planning timelines, and so it's very useful. Mm -hmm. If you need specifically, like if your major prime function is communication. Mm -hmm. Yes, so what... it's very important. And to have a feedback right away. Like when you send something, yeah. you just don't wait for like the three days for them to respond. I just need the immediate answer. So that's why I frequently choose uh, social media because I need the, the answer right away. And uh, yeah, so there's a problem. <laughs> but it's very important to be, you know, um, efficient in time. Yeah, you can use both of them like for quick for rapid communication. You can use, I don't know, Messenger or whatever or, yes, yes, or yes. projects and when you need uh, reference on some document or making timelines, I'm usually using Trello or, or any other or Monday. Mm -hmm. We'll try. Is Monday free, uh, uh, free uh, software? Monday. I think it's... Uh, you. It, you no, to... it's not. It's not. Not free. Yeah, I remember. I it's like not... this. Kind it of, gives yeah. you possibility of trying like demo version, like yeah, but it's not free. Yeah, I remember it's not because free. I liked I like this uh, platform very much. Yeah. yeah. But then everybody has to download this uh, this app, and everybody has to pay for individually for the. Uh... No, 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 oh. no. You when you are. Because I had the, the subscription as looks like it expired. When you are buying sub, sub, subscription, there yeah. are several options. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it it's called the places. Mm -hmm. So it's it's starting from ten places, and there are twenty, mm -hmm. then there are above fifty. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So mm -hmm. and for all invited members, it's mm -hmm. a, it means that it's a free like for your purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take this into consideration, okay. Looks like we have not any other questions. So. Mm, I would like to share my experience uh, for this case. Uh, so, um, at about uh, before the pandemic, uh, I had the uh, decision to uh, set some uh, of the organizing tools, and uh, we tried uh, two tools that time. That was Slack, which is very that was popular that time uh, abroad also. Uh, and beside this, we tried uh, and uh, we developed uh, the uh, software. It's a DeskNet, which is also uh, for price. But it's uh, um, created especially for media, uh, for media outlets. So uh, at one uh, conference in um, Berlin, uh, they were presented and we had an agreement with them uh, for a very low price. It was uh, 200 uh, euros per month for the whole newsroom. So uh, it's, it's not even, even for us, it's not a high price. Uh, and um, they had very good features. So beside the features we have in Monday or to do or other uh, sources, they had um, the feature that uh, every journalist could um, upload their product to this space. So he uh, could uh, they could upload the uh, video, audio, and uh, uh, people who were uh, connected with this task, all of them could see the product that uh, we had from the journalist, which was very, very useful because uh, during the process or during the day, even uh, me, who was sitting in front of their uh, computer, could see how the process is going. Mm -hmm. 
So that was very nice. Uh, I forced <laughs> a lot. So uh, we um, insisted that uh, all journalists should do it. And uh, they had also email notifications for uh, the, uh, their assignments. Which was also very useful. Uh, besides, not not only the notifications in their app, Testnet also had the app, uh, but also the emails that they should do it, or uh, if they have any change in uh, task tasking. So sometimes, even uh, especially for reporters, then they come to one place, it, they could be uh, re uh, relocated. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, now that uh, so it was really really good. Uh, I think that uh, after this, I tried maybe four or five platforms, and I still think that Testnet is one of, one of the best from them. Uh, and um, uh, so it was at about a year <laughs> as we used it. Uh, but then as uh, I released the uh, rules um, and pandemic started. Uh, uh, so they stopped using it. I didn't have this trade communication with them. Uh, and um, uh, so it wasn't as effective and we stopped using it. So I regret it really. Uh, and um, I think that if uh, not this, uh, um, if, if I didn't give up, uh, I think that we will still be effective in using it. Using it. So I think that, uh, that uh, these kind of systems are really, really useful. But today, Dachi, I just went out from my room and uh, they asked me, what are you talking and speaking about? And uh, I explained that we're speaking about this kind of uh, <laughs> organizing tools. And oh, do you remember how, how did you torture us? <laughs> <laughs> so it had to be torture, that's the thing. So I don't want to... <laughs> you know, make their heart easy. So that's why I say, forget it, you know, because um, people at our age, are they, I mean, aged already, you know, I'm myself 50 years old. So the colleagues of mine are also around this age. So they hate uh, technologies, you know? So, I mean, and they're not, so you have to hire younger. Youngers don't have as much uh, competencies. Olders are much more uh, loyal to you. This is a very important feature when- So older... there is no solution. <laughs> <laughs> or now. <laughs> Someone is too old, someone is too young. <laughs> I don't know, but of course, we have to find the golden, I mean, the medium solution, something like intermediate. So, yeah, we don't get sidetracked. So, we still make uh, sure yeah. that all the things will be done properly and on time, you know. But in my experience, Dachi, um, uh, for me, it's very, especially when someone give you this rule, for example, when I'm participating in some project and they're using this tool and I have to use it. So for example, Slack groups on other groups. So I'm, I'm very easy uh, used to them and it's become natural. Uh, it's very hard to start from zero. So then uh, people in the newsroom all used to do this. If someone come and they found out that here is this rule, they used to do it also. But when everybody are resisting, it's too hard. I yeah, know. from from zero ground, it's too hard, of course. Even but... multimedia journalism, I remember it was it was so problematic. Why you are torturing us? What you are doing with us? And then so and so. I am not a robot and uh, many, many different, but now it's a very usual thing you know, to be a multimedia reporter. The same is with the project. Yeah. Some of the things are very important to have to know the skills of software, like radio programming. For example, we had like three times we invited a very well-known uh, radio programmer who uh, from Germany who did a, a lot of training. And I myself studied radio programming, because even though I have absolutely don't have this education, you know, I have a medical education, but I studied myself. I was actually translating all every all the programs for three months, you know. And eventually I made sure the program directors knew this software by heart, you know, even I knew. They can never uh, lie to me because I know how the uh, software functions. So when yeah. I said, because when you set up the rules for the songs, for the, you know, the clocks, you have to know the radio programming. And I, as a CEO, learned, can you imagine? Because to make sure that nobody will tell me, oh, this is yeah. not possible, this is not possible. Uh, in regards to, uh, for example, website, I mean, uh, the multimedia, whatever, platform that you, that you were doing consultancy for us, it was not an option for them not to do it. 
all the journalists have to learn social media skills. Now, I think there is not a person in that I think in Georgia that doesn't know social media. It's it's a, it's uh, impossible to work uh, in media environment with without having the social media sure. skills. But there are certain things maybe we just close our eyes on, like this kind of features and that makes their um, uh, life uh, hard and then for us um, creates tension and in communication. So we just say, OK, this is not as important, but there, there are critical things that has to be done. You know, there's a priority and I never give up, uh, push my colleagues do these things if they're very important uh, for my company, you know very crucial. Like, as I said, radio programming, new web platform, new skills that are very important for social media is because radio as a traditional media doesn't exist any longer. You have to be present in yes. all different digital platforms, otherwise you lose it. Yeah, so, uh, digital uh, is the future, whatever to be. Mm -hmm. uh, from my experience, Dachi, I think that the only way to uh, have uh, uh, some platforms in your uh, newsrooms is to uh, is not to uh, give any choice to everybody. So, for example, um, uh, I was working on TV station, and uh, we had uh, a new system. It was Octopus for um, uh, like managing uh, things, and uh, there was it's a it was a Danish company, if I am if I'm not mistaken. So it still uh, exists. Yeah, yeah, it still exists. Now it was fifteen years ago. And people just refused to work in, in it. So they told we don't want, but uh, uh, the, our owners paid a lot of money for it. And they told that, no, <laughs> you should. And uh, now after three months, everybody was working only on Octopus, nothing in, in, in no other program. So uh, it, it could be done. Yeah. It's possible, exactly. Yeah, it, it could be must, like must yeah. think to make. And need like good explanations till I believe. Um, even that newsroom management system has a new ones, uh, newly arrived ones. Such amazing functions, what I mentioned, it's integrated archive, it's in integrated giving assignments, tracking videos, audios, everything. Uh, and what is very good, most of them has a mobile versions as well. Uh, like adaptive, but still for mobile versions, you can make uh, some. Mm -hmm. Okay. Think so you so it, have new energy, new ideas <laughs> to combat <laughs> all this resistance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's finish our workshop, looks like. Okay. Thank you very much. Dachi, thank you. Thank time. you. And uh, we'll see you in other uh, trainings. Uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you Bye. so much. And we'll send all this information. Thank you, Dachi. Mm -hmm. Bye, thank you. Yeah, thank you, I'll Alex. share with you, Tamara, and then you will share to, to others also. Everything, yes. Yeah, yeah, I said, and, uh, yeah, we will send all the certificates, as I mentioned, uh, to all the participants who participate. And I would like to thank everyone for uh, attending our training and uh, in, uh, trust in us. And also, I would like to let you know that all this information will be available on mediaguard.co. It's uh, free of use. So, and that I will appreciate if you uh, send us all these materials that we just spoke today. Day, so sure. uh, our participants require them. Thank, thank you, so, you so much. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. And have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.